by the side. So the ones those who are scattered abroad, we are, let the scripture speak. Let the scripture speak, NYC can, okay? And uh, bring it out here, bring out the word of the Lord. So, brothers in spirit, Shalom, shalom to the whole four elect of the nation of Israel. Okay, we're the real Hebrew Israelites. Okay, we're the most high school people. We're the greatest people, the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans. Okay, and the ones of our people that are scattered that on their father's side descend from so-called Negroes and Native Americans. We're the most high chosen people. Okay, we're Yasharala. Okay, Yasharala meaning the Prince of the Power. That's our name. So we, we, we need we need to uh, stand on that. Okay, we, we need to uh, represent Yahweh, Yahweh Shadi on earth, man. We're princes of the power. That name, words are vibrations, man. Okay, let's start with uh, with two more. Okay, I got one. Well, let's, let's go, let's go into what you got. Okay. Okay. No, no, you get that too. Yeah, yeah, that is. Uh, 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 okay. okay, I got one for you. Okay. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 2, it reads, for, for, for thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy power. Yeah, holy means separate. Okay, so the Most High separated the nations. Okay, the Most High created 18 nations, and out of the 18 nations the Most High Yahweh created, he chose one. Okay, and that's the nation of Israel. That's Yasharala. Okay, so he created us to be separate, to be holy. Okay. It says, For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy power. And the Lord has chosen me to be a peculiar people. Yeah, a peculiar people. Okay, the Lord has chosen Yasharala, the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and the one of, ones of our people that are scattered, the Israelite foreigners. Okay, he chose us to be a holy, a separate nation, and we're a peculiar people, a peculiar nation, a special people unto the Most High Yahweh. Okay, we're, we're special people, man. We, we're supposed to take heed, man. If we're a special people to our power, man, we need to act like we're a special people. We need to stop acting like heathens. Being holy means to be separate. So why the hell are you following the laws of the heathens? Okay, yeah, follow the laws of the lands, but don't follow the customs, so like it, the customs of the heathens. The customs of the heathens are gonna lead to death and destruction, okay? Because they're against our power, man. We're supposed to be holy, separate. Well, see, that proves the most I speak of you, brother, because you know why? You said the land. The, the, literally, the, the word heathen means the land of, basically. It means, of the, it means literally of the land. So heathen basically means, what, the heathen nations, they're of the land where they worship, you know, in their land, they worship their own idols. You know, that's what the term heathen means. Of the land. Why? Because of, of the other nations in their land, they worship other gods. Idols. 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 False gods, man. There's only one true power, man. That's Yahweh Bashem El Shai. There's only one chosen nation. Okay, there's only one elect nation. That's the nation of Israel, Yasharala. Prince of the power, Prince of the Most High. It reads, it says, For, the, for, for thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy power, and the Lord hath chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself. Above all nations. Above all nations. So the nation of Israel is superior. You are, you heathen nations are inferior to us, okay? But you got two-thirds of our people that act like heathens, okay? So that was that bringing forth confusion, okay? For the yeah, like land. Yeah, like they, it's confusion. They, they act, exactly. They, they're acting like heathens. They're conducting themselves like heathens. They follow the heathenistic custom. They follow these, these false gods, okay? So... That's that's gonna uh, create confusion amongst our people, man. You got uh, some of our people claiming to be Muslims, Catholics, uh, Christians, uh, uh, Seventh Day Adventists, uh, uh, Jehovah Witnesses, right? Uh, Mormons, right? That's confusion, man. We're a special, peculiar people. Okay, we're Hebrew Israelites. Okay, we need a. Uh, abide by the law, statutes, and judgments of Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, creator, our power. It reads, it says, a peculiar people unto himself above all nations that are upon the face of the earth. All nations, all 17 nations are inferior to the nation of Yasharala, the nation of Israel. Okay. Uh, this is Says, it says, 
again I say unto you that if two, if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything, it says, For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst of So there's three of us here. And whenever there's two or more believers of Yahweh Yahushua, the Spirit, the Holy Spirit is present. Okay, the Holy Spirit is present, man. The Holy Spirit is working through brothers, man. Throughout the four corners of the earth going out there. Uh, in instant, in season, out of season. Prophesying, preaching, teaching. Okay, the Spirit of Yahweh Yahushua by Hashem or Kakadash is present. That's what the scripture says, and that's what we believe. Because we have faith in our infant scriptures, man. And faith is what we need in these last days, man. Because things are getting ugly, man. Things are getting worse for the better. Okay, things aren't getting worse, ain't gonna get worse for, um, to not get better. They're gonna, it's gonna have to get worse to get better according to the scriptures, man. Yeah, yeah Jacob's trouble. Yeah, Jacob's trouble, man. Jacob's trouble ain't gonna be a walk in the park. It ain't gonna be easy to go through Jacob's trouble. To pass all those different tests that we're gonna be put through, but that ultimate test that we that that we must pass, okay, is when the MOTB, the CHIP, is mandated, okay, when we're not gonna be allowed to buy, to sell, okay, you, we won't be allowed to drive, you you won't be allowed to 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 travel to another state, to travel to see your family if they live in the islands or if they live in South Central America or Europe or Africa, wherever our people are scattered at, okay? We ain't gonna be able to do these things if we don't receive the MOTV. What is the MOTV? The mark of the beast. We know that it's the C-H-I-P that they wanna put inside our bodies, man. Why? Because they wanna track our every move, man. They wanna know our every thought. They want to be in full control. They think these people, okay, these wicked elites, the devil that the Bible speaks of, the wicked, okay, they believe that they don't the know God. So that's why, now that's why they're going to try to do what they want. Okay? That's part of their agenda. That's part of the elite's agenda. Man. Satan's agenda is to what? To, to, to have everybody on earth ship, right? This is the truth, man. This is the Spirit of the Lord speaking through brothers warning you. Let, let, letting our people know what the hell's going on. What the hell you're doing wrong, okay? Because we're, we're not perfect, man. But we believe in Yahweh Yahushua. We show our works when we come out here, man. And we show our works throughout the week. We do our videos on our own, man. But when two or more are gathered in the names of Yahweh Shemashah, the Lord, the Spirit, the, the, the energy is powerful, man. man. This is spiritual power, man. But people don't see it. Two thirds of our people ain't gonna see it. This is spiritual power, man. Coming out here, you know, in, whether it's hot, cold, winter, summer, it doesn't matter. We have to come out here, man. We're special people. This is what the most highest people should be doing. That's why we out here teaching, man. Throughout the four corners of the earth, man. We got our people teaching, man. Uh, I'll, I'll read that again about the witness. Texas, he actually has a post, and he did a show on it, saying he said, "Look, I'm actually starting to believe in the Messiah because he's doing more research on it, you know." 
And when you brought out uh, the two witnesses, basically that's what the, the Old Testament and the New Testament is. You know, that the New Testament is what that is, is a witness to the, to, the, to the Old Testament. You know, it's a witness means the knowledge of or to look at, you know, to understand. So it just, it just uh, validates the Old Testament. And, and like to get to your point, it's literally the other witness to the Old Testament. Because that, that, when you have a witness, what does a witness do? It, uh, it, it, it proves the, the other part. And that's the that's who Yahweh Shai is. That's exactly right. He's proof for the Old Testament. Right? He's a, it, 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 it says in first, John, the first chapter, he's the, the physical manifestation of what? The Word. Right? He also said, what's that? Matthew, I come not to destroy, but to fulfill. To fulfill what? The whole the Old Testament included to it. As well as the New Testament, which he was the New Testament, right? Yes. The New Testament, the actual written New Testament wasn't wasn't there yet or written yet when he was on the scene, but it was being fulfilled by his presence, right? So this whole thing about one or two witnesses, two or more is very, very important, man. Very right? So I'll read this again. It says Matthews 18 and 19, is, I'm sorry, 18 and 20. You got that? Yep, right. It says, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Do you know how it's worded in the Old Testament? I'm trying to look it up. I got it. Oh, you do it? I got okay, it right okay, here. Okay. Okay. It says, for where, for where two or three, Matthews 18 and 20, for where two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst of them. And that's the, the spirit of Yahweh Bashan al It's a myth. It's around brothers. It's a second brother. Okay. And, and the scriptures also say that uh, that the angels of the Lord encamp around about them that fear Yahweh. Okay, so it's really angels protecting brothers. You know, uh, you know, communicating with brothers out here. You know, putting that spirit of Yahweh down, brother. That's the angels. They're, they're shielded. The angels are shielding us, man. That's why we come out here boldly all, now all the time, man. We've been, a lot of us have been doing this for years, man. And we're going to continue doing this, man. Because we have faith in we, we fear Yahweh Bashman's now. We understand that the Spirit of the Lord is, this is the work of the Lord, man. So they, we, th there's power behind this, man. This ain't no light thing, man. Well said, my brother. Uh, well, of course. Yeah, man, it's just a prophecy, son. Right? Ever see it. So that's why we are able to testify to you, to, you, to, to the message, man. You see the chariots, right? You see the Lord the chariots over the past. Right. You see the last chapter. Right, right, right. Uh, uh, us standing out here teaching, you know, so right. on and so forth, man. These are major signs that the Alma is working in the earth. Oh, yeah. Well, again, well said, my brother. up against against a man for any iniquity or for any sin one one witness shall not rise up against a man for any iniquity or for any sin and any sin that he sinned right it says one witness shall not rise up against a man for any iniquity or for any sin and any sin that he sinned at the mouth of two witnesses, or at the mouth of three witnesses, shall the matter be established. Hey, Paul, what was the that? Matthew 19 and 15. Oh, I'm sorry, not, I'm sorry, Deut did I say Matthew? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Deuteronomy 19 and 15. That's beautiful, man. Law, Deuteronomy 19. The law regarding witnesses here. 19 and 15? Yeah. Yeah, this is spirit, man. Because I was, it's like, this whole thing going on, but now the spirit can bring it out. Again, with Zion Lex saying he's believing so he's believing in the Messiah. Remember, he's one of them old commandments, kind of that kind of spirit. You know, and I was thinking like, damn, maybe he's open up going into that. And, we, and it is. You know, I ain't meant to be playing that, but that proves to see how the shot. 
there is this beautiful man. But the point is that again, the scriptures just said that um, that if, so, if, if if somebody commits iniquity, you just can't have one person, or one witness there to to uh, clarify the fact. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? It's basically that old saying. I forget how it goes, but it help me out. It's, it's like that old analogy, of a, a riddle. Tree falls in a forest by itself. By who can who can say that it falls, right? Well, it, 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 it says um, if a tree if a tree falls in a forest, it doesn't make a sound. Yeah, yeah. Right? Meaning if nobody's there, nobody can hear it. You know what I mean? That's basically what it's saying. Right. There's, there's no there's nobody to hear the sound. Thing like your analogy or the scriptures are saying you need somebody to confirm the, the transgression rather than just one person. That's right. Because everybody, man, how, how you know? Yeah. Oh, well, I got yeah. lucky. My man was here. Exactly. Oh, like, oh, all right, it's two of them. You know, exactly. so you really, you know, well, well I got three men here. So there's three results, so it's two or more. Yeah. Exactly. That's, that's a confirmation. Uh, yeah. Right? Yeah. Right. So that, that's, that's really, really, that's, that's the essence the foundation of the spirit of the Lord, man. And that's that's the righteous laws of the Lord. Man. You know, so that's what the Old Testament, the New Testament really embodies is is this 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 law right here. So to people who say they only believe in the Old Testament, that's not according to the spirit of the Lord. Because again, when you, when somebody commits iniquity, you need right and you want to bring him to charge, you want to charge him against the law, right? You need you need you need um you need Two witnesses there, two to three witnesses, right? To back up because if that's the case, then that one person could be lying, right? Yeah. right? Yeah. He could be lying. That's the next. Oh, you got it. Yeah. And then from the top again, next round. Right. Verse 15 again, right? Deuteronomy 19 and 15. One witness shall not rise up against the man for any iniquity or for any sin, and any sin that he sinned at the mouth of two witnesses or at the mouth of three witnesses shall the matter be established. Yeah, because in that, in, when it gets to that, that two or three witnesses, you, it's undeniable, all right? right? You got three people confessing, okay, this this happened, this, this is what happened, you know? And if they're lying, then they're, they're, that's on their ass. But for, 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 the more, for the righteous part, it's righteous to say, the two or three witnesses is according to the law of how you judge your matter. For proof. Right? Verse 16, it says, If a false witness rise up against any man to testify against him that which he is wrong, then both men between whom the controversy is shall stand before the Lord, before the priests, and the judges which shall be in those days, and the judges shall make digital inquisition. And behold, if the witness be a false witness and hath testified falsely against his brother, then shall he do unto him as he had thought to have done unto his brother. So shalt thou put evil away from among you. And those which shall remain shall hear and fear and shall henceforth commit no more such evil among you. So they look, that was just to weed out. That's just to weed out. Uh, um, a liar, you know. You know, like, look, if you if you're accusing this, if you're accusing somebody of, 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 of transgression, you better not be lying because the judges, the priests, they're gonna inquire and they're gonna ask you questions. And if you, if you or or the, the multitude of you found out to be lying, the, the transgression or the uh, the judgment for the man that you're accusing is gonna go to you now. You see? So that's why the scriptures always refer to the law as being perfect, man. There's no um there's no um there's no amendments in this man. Like 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 in, in, in that's right. you know? There's just the, the law is made perfect. Man. It's beautiful. Yeah. It doesn't change. And that's why the Lord said in Hebrews the Lord gave us two immutable things. See, the laws of the Lord don't change. The only thing that changed was the Lord when he died for the nation of Israel. And he made all the nation of Israel kings and priests after the order of Melchizedek. Okay? That's the only thing that changed. 
But see, that's beautiful because, again, what we're reading is really the essence and the embodiment of this truth. Because the Old Testament, right? The Old Testament and the New Testament, the New Testament is a witness to the Old Testament. Because another word, another way to say hey, Shalom Mark is what? Is, is basically, in other words, think about the Bible as a record. No different from a tape recorder. Right, if you, if you, let's say, you're doing something and there's someone you there, then you have your tape recorder, and okay, now I see this guy still in the car, so you can just say it, but you got proof now. So it's you, yourself, saying it, and the proof. You know, so the proof of uh, of Yahweh by Shemashai, the son of the, of the Holy Father, is the prophet saying it, but also writing it down. This is an actual record. And then the New Testament is a record of the Old Testament. Everything you see in the New Testament, what, what, what was the Lord doing? He quoted everything from the Old Testament. I mean, the Lord, he is the body of the word anyway, like the elder was saying earlier. He is the word. So for you to believe in the Old Testament, you know, you got you. You, you don't understand. The, the, you don't understand the Most High Himself and the Lord. You don't understand the Bible. I mean, I'm a one, the beloved brother. I'm a one. Uh, um, GMS Awakening, our beloved brother. Okay, we were talking. He made a good point. He's like, hey, if you don't believe in the New Testament, um, how can then that means you don't believe in the chips, right? That means you're gonna take the chips. If you don't believe in the New Testament, that means, you know, I mean, it says that the image of the Lord in the Old Testament, but not in detail of the Revelation 1 and 1 and 13. In, well, in the Old Testament, it also, there's a law in the book of Leviticus that we shouldn't be making any cuttings into our flesh. Exactly. And, the, and, and in order to receive the CHIP, what, what is that? It's a cutting into the flesh. Yeah, it, it okay. references it. So, but it's so, not talking about the prophecy. So, huh, huh. Okay. We're witnesses, we're witnesses, man, that Esau, Edom is the devil that the Bible speaks of, man. We're witnesses that this is Babylon the Great, man. We see it, okay? This place is full of confusion. What does Babylon mean? The Hebrew word for Babylon is Babal. It means confusion. That's right. Okay? Babylon the Great is in the, in the New Testament. Revelation. Yeah. I mean, you don't see Babylon the Great in the Old Testament. Okay? We're witnessing this place being... Uh, Babylon the Great. We're witnessing how Esau is the wicked that the Bible speaks of, man. There's more than two brothers here, man. So when East, when the Most High brings judgment upon Esau, man, you people ain't gonna, you people are gonna lose your minds, man. Because you people don't see it. Two thirds of our people don't see that Esau is the devil, that this is Babylon the Great. Okay? But but we have witnessed it through the spirit of Yahweh Yahweh We see it. We see what's going on out here, man. These people don't have a clue, man. So why do you have why Yahweh Shah for waking us up, man? Oh. You know what else are we witnessing out here? Now this is this is uh there's wickedness going on, man. You got sodomites out here. That's against the scriptures, man. Adultery, that's against the scriptures. Okay? Worshiping false gods, that's idolatry, that's against the scriptures, that's against our laws, man. This is Babylon the Great. AKA America, man. This is uh, Proverbs 19 and 5. It says, A false witness shall not be unpunished, but he that speaketh lies shall not escape. Yeah, that's Esau, man. And two thirds of our people. But that's speaking about the wicked that the Bible speaks of, man. You're lying. You're claiming to be the Most High. Okay, you claiming that the Most High, that the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, Yahweh Shai looks like you, that the angels look like you, that the real Jews look like you, that the nation of Israel looks like you, that you were Moses, okay? You're a liar. You're the devil that the Bible speaks of, man. You're, the term devil means slanderer, deceiver, and that's what you're doing. You're speaking against the nation of Israel, but you want to be the nation of Israel. You, you, you're going, you're con Completely adverse to Yahweh Yahweh Shah, man. Okay, we we're witnessing that here on earth, man. And, and, and the most high is gonna bring judgment upon the nation of Edom, man. And two-thirds of our people, because you're wicked too, man. You're liars too. You got two-thirds of our people uh, uh spreading that false doctrine, okay, claiming that the most high loves all people, 
okay? Claiming that the uh, um, Old Testament is done away with, that the laws are done away with, that the Most High doesn't hate the sinner, he just hates the sin, that's lies, okay? And we're here to tell you that you're lying, okay? We're here to tell you the truth, whether you like it or not. The scripture says whether you hear or whether you forbear, man. This is the work of the Lord, okay? And we're out here to tell you the truth, man. We don't care if you don't like, we're not here to spare your feelings, okay? This society is full of, uh, uh, of feelings, man. Emotions, do whatever you want. Live that YOLO lifestyle. Do as thou wilt. That's the spirit of this place. Okay? And the spirit, the scriptures teaches us to, we're supposed to govern our spirits, man. But you can do whatever the hell you want. You can be a free and, and be accepted. That's wicked, man. That's against our power, man. That's against the law. I got it. The testimony? Yeah. Right. So this is um, this is Matthew 13 and 52. It says, then, sa then said he unto me, I'm sorry, then said he unto them, therefore every scribe, mind you, this is in the red letter, so this is Yahweh Shai speaking. It says, then said he unto them, Therefore, every scribe which is instructed unto the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man that is an householder which bringeth forth out of his treasure things new and old. You see? So the New Testament and the Old Testament are one book, you know? Right? And this is a, a parable from the Lord. He compared a, one that is instructed in the kingdom of heaven is one like a householder of, of treasures of things new and of things that are old. See? So the Old Testament and the New Testament are in, in hey, that's 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 the spirit of the, of the Lord. That's the spirit of the Lord. That's that's you know, I, I guess apparently it's, it seems like he's working with Zion Lex to, to see to see yeah, to see to see the that the New Testament is, is, is very vital, man. And you have a shy, it's very vital. Mind you, right? this, this, this man was all into the Old Testament. He can't tell him nothing. So really, you know, like Apostle Paul was saying, and I was so moved by it. Apostle Rob, I did a show, I did a show on it as well. You know, that, that, um, it's a beautiful thing when you make it to that. He even said a comment, he said, uh, the same goes that his iron legs quoted, uh, roughly paraphrased. He was saying that um, the same goes when you when you when you study about Yahweh Shai more, you start to become more of a believer. You know? And that's exactly what's happening. You see, you're saying James, the Lord said, you take one step towards me, I'll take two steps towards you. Alex said that or Apostle said that? No, it's Alex. Oh, yeah. He pronounced the name differently, but like Apostle I said, it's okay. You just kind of get into it. They call him Yeshua or another kind of name, but it's okay. At least he, he admitted, and that's, that's, that's being humble. Okay, because here it is. He believes in the Old Testament, but he's coming out and saying, you know what? He posted it. Everybody to see. He said, the more I research the New Testament, uh, the more I'm starting to believe in the Messiah. And, and then, a beautiful thing about it, Abba Bimmons, he was, where did he come from? The commandment kings. They all believed about the New Testament, Old Testament. But Abba Bimmons, who was our forefather in the spirit, who is John the Baptist, who is Abraham, right? What did he do, right? John, uh, uh, Abba Bimmons, he left the commandment keepers and went into the New Testament. So what's happening with Zion Lex, happened with the um, Abba Bimmons, the same thing. So, you know, we pray that, uh, hey, Maybe, you know, low will you elect, man? You know? Because the angels look so the same. Um, when, when you want to wake up, when I say Barbados, you say, you say, but you got to get it. Uh, you got it. You got it. I was thinking about that. So this is a beautiful thing, man. Uh, this is uh, Luke 15 and 10. It says, Likewise, I say unto you, 
There is joy in the presence of the angels of your house, my son, that shine over one sinner that repented. You got it. Yeah, that, that, that breaks it down itself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So once, once, it, once the Lord put the Spirit on the Jake to repent, the angels rejoice. Yeah, angels so are real, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People don't know, man. You got people that don't believe in angels. That's a lie, man. Angels exist, man. They're real. They're the messengers of the most high. Okay. What else is the, the elect are angels on earth? Yeah, right? yeah. messengers. The, the, the Twitter, it says the judges that left not the first stage. Well, it's 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 the the judges. Uh, it says angels. judges. It's oh, that's the it says, yeah, the angels that left not their first estate, you know, to change the darkness, that's the deal. Uh, you know, and this, 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 this filthy body, right? Uh, matter of fact, I got everything on the testimony, but let's go okay. yeah, so it's cool. So, yeah, let's get into this, man. So I got some few things here, because I remember I did a um, little woman years ago. I went into it, man, pretty hard. So it's very beautiful um, understanding and knowledge, man. It runs deep. So, um, again, the word testimony, you got work, right, basically got testimony. A testimony, testament, a testator. All right. You know, but I'll just get this one. The testimony or a testament is what? It says a last will, disposing of property. Okay. A testamentum. It means a last will, publication of a will. From test testier, make a will or be witness to, to, to says be witness to from testing witness. Okay? So again, like we're going through the spirit law well, is that again the New Testament, right, is is a is a witness for uh, the understanding or the knowledge of the old testament. They back each other up. Like other said if you want this one book. to look it up but economy goes back to eco means um uh, uh, keeper of the house or keeper of the financial house so he basically is like we're having we're, we're keepers of this economy of this truth so to speak and this truth is treasure okay oh, that scripture speaks about this is more <laughs> precious this truth is more precious than anything on earth any precious metal any is more precious than fine gold fine silver it's more pure it's more natural this is the Man, this is more precious, precious than rubies and sapphires. This is more precious than than, than your your college degree. Okay, this is more precious than your land, than your cattle. Can I read something? This yeah. It says Romans. Going in to go, and then we'll go back to Matthew. This is Romans 11 and 33. Oh, the depth of the riches, both of wisdom and knowledge of the Most High. How unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out. Right, so that's going into what you're going to say. How, 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 much, how much wealth and value is true now, right? Right, because it's the top supreme knowledge. And it was given a partial of it was given one to his elect, to his men, to his prophets. Right, so, so this is very, very, very nice. And it's going to be. 
it's going to really show its value when all hell breaks loose. Isaiah 33 and 6. Antimology.com is the word for economy, which is a noun. Uh, it says the uh, 1530s, it says household management. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right <laughs> a household management, you know? And I, I, I was like, wow, he said, I'm like, oh, man, I ain't doing that. You know, so keep her, basically, management, uh, household management. Household management. So, so, I think it breaks down the two things in the suffix. Yeah, yeah. Source of friends. Read, read a lot, brother. It says source of friends. Economia in Spanish. Economia. Or German. Ocronome. From the Greek. Or household management. Or thrift. Or manager. Steward. Or home. Dwelling. We're managing this this treasure, man. There's nothing more valuable. There's nothing of more substance than this truth, man. Ultimately, faith. That's why the scripture says faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, man. We have faith that this is the true treasure on earth. It's this truth, this gospel, man, this word. This is the good news, man. What's proof of that, right? Zion, that's just proof of our research. We know how we shine. We find him. Learning more about Yahweh Shai. He's increasing his faith in Yahweh Shai. Right? He's starting to believe more in Yahweh Shai. He has a zeal. He has a zeal. That's why he, he's calling on the name, but he's not calling on the correct name. Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. He's just right. learning. But he's learning. He has a zeal, but, you know, he. The, that's how the most high deals with brothers, man. We didn't just all come into this truth right away. It's not. Like, no, no, no. You could, you could, you could, you know? right? okay. Yeah. We didn't all just, you know, I found out with him, like, just, you know, you just hold it closed or reading or speaking right away. No, the Most High has to build us up. And we're being built up, man, through the spirit of Yahweh, Yahweh, Shah. And the brothers, there's going to be more brothers and sisters waking up. I got, I got a petition. I got one for you. I got one for you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, that the more you study, the more that Yahweh, Yahweh, Shah, is growing with him. This is uh, St. John 14, and um, I'll start from 17, it goes to like 24. It says, uh, even the spirit of truth, whom the, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you. Yeah, the, the, the whole world doesn't know this truth, okay? Only the elect know this truth, man. Only the elect are gonna live by this truth, man, and are gonna endure Whatever they have to endure, man. Okay? The most I don't care about nobody else, man. The most I care about is elect, man. That's another thing a lot of Israelite groups don't care. They don't push that vibration. The one third and the two thirds. The most I cares about his two third his elect, the one third and hates the two thirds. Okay? This truth is only given on to the one third, man. It's not given on to two thirds. They don't consider the, this truth, man. It says it says, for he dwelleth with you and should be in you. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Yeah, this is our comfort, man. This is the comforter, the spirit, the Holy Spirit, man. This is what comforts us in life, man. This is what, what, what gets, gets us through the day, okay? Yeah. How it does it get us through the day? By applying, you know, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to our everyday lives, man. This is what's going to comfort us. This is what's going to shield us protect us, give us stability in these last days. This wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, this treasure, this is true treasure, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. It says, it says, yet a little while, it says, yet a little while, and the world sees me no more, but ye see me. Yeah, we see the Lord, man. We see the Lord, we hear the Lord, man. We heard this truth, how do you think we heard it, man? Through the Spirit of the Lord. Through brothers speaking, man. I remember when I first started coming, I saw these brothers, man. The Elder Yakov, the Elder Nas, man, speaking in the truth, man. What led me there, man? What led those brothers into the truth? It's the Spirit of the Lord. We heard, we saw, we see. We see the truth. Uh, St. John 15 and 16. 
ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain. Yeah, we wasn't born into this truth, man. We didn't know, okay, um, I'm going to repent when I hit 20 years old or whatever year brothers come in. Read that again, my sir. Sure. Yeah, many times we... So we be the cruise ship uh, uh, so I'm being bartenders. <laughs> we're in bartender school, right? Literally, right? Actually, we finished the class, and that's when we got the truth. We spent all this money, and we're in some shit. Fans are living, you know, the <laughs> islands. <laughs> we have fans here. You know, man? We didn't imagine like this. So just back in the testimony. A testimony. We just gave a testimony about what we were doing. Yeah, the Lord chose us, man. Now, we're not saying we're of the hope for elect, but we hope and pray we're of the hope for elect. Okay, we was chosen by Yahweh Bashmael Shah to come here and serve him, man. To bring out this this substance, this treasure, this this valuable word, man. It's true. This knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, man. The Lord chose us, man. And the Lord chose the two-thirds to stay blinded because yeah. they can't see. Their spiritual eyes can't see this truth. Their spiritual ears can't receive this truth. That's why they scoff. That's why they, they don't consider. That's why they continue continually being rebellious against Yahweh Yahweh Shah. They don't see it. It wasn't chosen. Okay? We're not saying we're of the hopeful elect. I repeat that. Okay, I'm not claiming I'm of the elect. None of us do. Because we we're supposed to remain humble. But you know our works is gonna show at the end then. That's right. Because the elect ain't gonna sell out. It's not gonna We can't call ourselves the hope. We're the hope of hope for the and just to back up, you know, we just sitting here today, and hope, if you just said something, the spirit, the, the work, yeah. and, and it hit me. Yeah. When you when you study for a test, and then you, you wait to get the results, you're hoping you pass the test, right? But what's building your hope? Because you study for it. You're not going to hope to pass it when you didn't even freaking study. Study to show that self approved. Exactly. Yeah. Doing the work, right? You're not going to... Uh, if I'm trying to make the NBA, uh, am I just gonna imagine? I'm not. I'm not gonna hope to make the NBA if yeah. I never put for basketball. Right. But there's no hope there. But the hope is backed up by the works that you do. You know, the studies and the things that you do. Yeah. And it just sits there day. So the, you know, the hope that we're, uh, um, you know, the hope is that the anchor. Like you said, I read in scripture yesterday in Hebrews, is the anchor for our soul. So the, the more work that we do for this truth, we just start from the belief. That's going to uh, signify our stamp and our hope. You know? That's why the scripture says faith that our works is dead. You know what I mean? So, you know, you can't get around it, man. Yeah, yeah. And what are these other works of these other camps, man? What are they doing? Yeah. You know, and the ultimate works is bringing out in, in truth and sincerity and not holding back, like the Pastor Ron Bob said. Bring, you know, bringing out the prophecy. You know what I mean? So, uh, back to uh, uh, St. John, real quick, 14. Uh, if you're point that what's happening to Zion Lex, he's uh, the more he studies, you know, the more he realizes, uh, uh, seeing the how of Christ is shot. It says, verse 19, uh, 20, it says, at that, at that day ye shall know that I am in the Father, and ye in, and ye in me, and I in you. He that hath my commandments, and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me, and he that loveth me shall be loved of my Father, and I will love him and will manifest myself to him. Okay. So, that, so that's what's happening, you know? I was saved. That was 17. Uh, 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 St. John 14. Yeah. St. John 14 and 21. It says, He that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. And he that loveth me shall be loved of my Father. Right. And, and his commandments are the things that he said, right? Which everything, he, which everything he said was in the spirit of his father, right? Yep. Everything he said was pertaining to what he called, right? Because everything he said, when he said, that abide by my commandments, is, 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 what, is what he meant, right? It says, it says, And he that loveth me shall be loved of my father, Abba Yehovah, and I will love him, and will, and will manifest myself to him right and, and, and he's gonna show himself in, in that individual that does after that does what Yahweh Shai asked him to do you see that's beautiful man um, 
uh, uh, become two more verses. Uh, verse, it says 22, it says, Judah said unto him, not, not Iscariot, it says, Lord, how is it that thou wilt manifest thyself unto us and not unto the world? It says, Yahweh Shai answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my father will love him. And we will come, and we, and we will come unto him and make our abode with him. So that's showing you, oh, hold on, now you got, you got that definition still? Because one, one of the definitions said of abode, a uh, house. Oh, yes, yes, uh, yes, yes. No, it said, it said, uh, it said abode, right? Oh, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah, which is a, a house yeah. or a, a body or a dwelling, right? Read that, read yeah. that part again? Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, St. John 14, 23. Yahweh Shah answered the same to him. And, 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 and it said, it's not Judas Iscariot. It's Judas, the brother. And, uh, yeah. uh, the Lord brothers was Judas and James. And this had to be the Lord's actual biological brother. If a man love me, he will keep my words, my and my father will love him, and we and we will come unto him. So that's oh, that's showing that we is showing you as more than one person. That's right. right. <laughs> it says me. Yeah. It, it didn't say I, right? I, I, and I will come unto him. I mean, let alone my father that can't give me the truth. I mean, right. It says right. Right. There. right. Well, yeah, he, he said it twice. Yeah. He said my father will, my father will, and then he. Said, we will suffer. Yeah. Said, suffer. Uh, I thought it was Okay. It says, and we will come unto him See, and, and make him. Yeah. and make our abode with him. See, and make our abode with him, or our, or our spirit will be within him. Right? Yeah. The testimony. Yeah. The Lord's yeah. testimony is, is inside the elect. Yeah. It's in their spirit. It's in their mind. Okay. Well, it, the Lord, Lord chose them. They didn't choose to be a part of the elect. The, the Lord chose the elect, man. The, the, the testimony of Yahweh Yahweh is, is within the elect, man. I'm sorry, it's locked. And um, then I think you can get it if you can find it. But the Lord said, um, the Lord said, he said, uh, I'm not a witness of myself. The Father's were a witness of, witness of me. And I'm a witness to the Father. So that's why, you know, I'm getting chills now. That's what it is too. That's why the Most High made Yahweh Shai. Because Yahweh Shai is the only one who can sit on the right hand of the Holy Father. So he's the proof that the Most High exists. He's a witness. He said that. Yep. Look it up. Right? He's he's an actual witness. No, I know the Father. And I go stand there to sit here to tell you that he exists. Right, right. And then the, 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 the then what did the Most High do? He said uh when he was in the chariot for the voice of the chariot went over went over when the Lord showed his um I think the he showed uh the water. Uh, what was the word again? Transfiguration. When he transfigured himself to what before was Peter and Andrew, Peter and John, right? He showed him Moses, uh, was it David, right. and, uh, and, and, and Elijah. I forget which third, but he said which. Anyway, he showed him that. And then um, the Lord said, which is which one is chosen? And then uh, the Most High, when chariot came over and said, a voice came out from heaven and said, no, this is my son, to whom I am well pleased. He's the one you should honor to. All right. So the Most High, uh, he said, "Look, no, that, that's that's that he's my son." So they're, they're witness to each other, man. So this is a spiritual that uh, how you know that you you need to. This is what this is about. Witness to each other. There's always a witness here. There's always a witness. Here. Hell, Saint John the ninth chapter, the blind man. His whole reason was to be a witness of the power of Yahweh of Yahweh Shai. See? Matter of fact, in hold of this, you know, first John, first chapter, get that real quick. Uh, because even see now the most high was a witness to the Lord uh, in the heavens. But on earth, who is a witness on earth? John the Baptist. Remember it describes him, he was sent, we're gonna read it. It says in the first chapter. St. John, the first chapter. He said he was he was there to bear witness of the light, right? He wasn't the light, but he was there, he was there set on earth to bear witness of the light. That's why we always say that John the Baptist was a forerunner. He was set up to be. Okay, everybody thought he, he was on a high level. They thought he was the Lord. He said, "No, I'm not the Lord. I'm, I'm there 
for you to know because you're gonna believe in me because it's obvious he was a man of the Lord, but I'm here so you can believe that this man is a man of the Lord. Because when, when John the Baptist was there, How you doing hey, hey, how's it going, sister? You good? Is that something you so, um, oh, I got no cash for right now. Maybe later. When we, Why the guys you know? don't come that big down there no Yeah, yeah, later. They don't come. Oh, oh, yeah, they, they went to that spot. They go, they, they move around. I'm talking about the guy that be on the corner. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, they, they, they move, move around. around. But those guys are coming. Of what the most high himself. Uh -huh. he says, oh, hold on. He says, for the works which the Father have given me to finish, the same works that I do bear witness of me that the Father have sent. And the father has yeah, that's right. The works that I do. That's what the Lord said all the time. Believe me not for the very, for the very, um, believe not me, but believe me for the very works sake. That's another reason why the Lord Yahweh Shai was here doing all these great miracles, man. You know, above and beyond. He was doing stuff the prophets did, but beyond what they were doing yeah. on another higher level. Yeah. Right? So, because he knows what the Lord knows, that people are not going to believe in him because he says it. They're gonna believe, you know, everybody believes in what they see. So that's what another point he did these great miracles. Again, believe not me, but believe me for the very works sake. Spiritual power. Uh -huh. that part again. He says, and the Father himself which have sent me have borne witness of me. He uh, have neither heard his voice at any time nor seen his shape. Okay. okay. I got you. This is the book of, uh, like it. Well, I'm not just, I got it. Okay, here go, here go. Well, John 5 and 38, and it says, And ye have not, and ye have not, uh, his word abided in you, for whom ye have sinned, then ye believe not. Search the scriptures, for in them ye think ye have eternal life, and they that, uh, was testifying of you. Zion Lexus do. That's what again, that's what Abba Bibbins did. Abba Bibbins searched the New Testament. He searched the scriptures and, and believed and fell away, he fell away from the commandment. Right? You know? This is uh no, okay. this is uh St. John chapter 6, verse 27. Labor not for the meat which perisheth, but for that meat which endureth unto everlasting life. This is Yahweh Shah speaking about the I'm going to start again. Labor not for the meat which perisheth, but for that meat which endureth unto everlasting life. 
which the Son of Man shall give unto you, for him hath the Most High, the Father, sealed. Then said, then said they unto him, What shall we do, that we might work the works of the Most High? Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, This is the work of the Most High, that ye believe on him whom he hath sent. They said therefore unto him, What sign showest thou then? What we may see and believe thee, what dost thou work? Our fathers did eat man, uh, manna in the desert, as it is written, he gave them bread from heaven to eat. Then Yahweh Shah said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Moses gave you not that bread from heaven, but my father giveth you the true bread from heaven, which is Yahweh Shah. The manna really represents Yahweh Shah, man. And now he's that physical, that physical manner when he came back 2,000 years ago, or really spiritual manner, but he was that physical that spiritual manner that we're supposed to eat from. Like I said, like you started off with, the meat of, of what is it, what? Labor not for the meat which perishes. There you go, labor not for the meat that perishes. But for the meat which endureth unto everlasting life. Exactly, that's Yahweh Shai. You know, yeah. that's, that's the point, he's that manner. Okay, uh -huh. For the bread of the Most High is he which cometh down from heaven and giveth life unto the world. Who's that bread? So what did that manna re represent? Was it really there to feed uh, um, the jakes that was, excuse me, Israel, that was loosened uh, 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 and, 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 and let out of Egypt from the hand of Moses? Yeah, but on a most spiritual sense, it was there for a record. It was there for a testimony to show that really that was a symbolic for Yahweh Shai. That bread didn't come, that, that manna didn't come from uh, the earth, that was in the heavens. So that was a, fore, a foretelling of Yahweh Shai. He's the true bread that the Most High gave to, uh, for, to Israel, Israel to, to, for eternal life. Uh -huh. Then said they unto him, Lord, evermore give us this bread. Which is the knowledge, the knowledge of our Lord. Uh -huh. And Yahweh Shai said unto them, I am the bread of life. See how what level they were on? They're like, well, after this, we'll give us the bread then. But he said, no. He said, what the Lord said. And Yahweh Shah said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. But I said unto you that ye also have seen me and believe not. All that the Father giveth me shall come to me. And him that cometh to me, I will in no wise cast out. Yeah, you see? Come on, man. So what's happened with Aaron Lex and anybody else follow suits? The Lord is not will not cast you out. Right? The Lord will that's a trustworthy. The Lord will not cast you out, man. So it's, you know, we, we hope we hope you in the lex. Because it's just gonna glorify you how about you might shine, man. It's gonna glorify how about you might shine. Anybody else who follows suits? Okay. Uh -huh. that was first, first time. This is the book of 1 John, chapter 1, verse 1. That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled of the word of life. For the life was manifested, and we have seen it, and bear witness, and shew unto you that eternal life. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, wow, read that again. Oh, wow. <laughs> I mean, geez. Now remember, we're, the, the, the theme of the, the, the Lord started us this camp with, all right, we're not in charge here, but what testimony, what testimony, and what is testimony? See, if you're going to stand and give a testimony, you can only do it because you're the scene of the time. Well, better yet, we read in the law earlier, right? With the Deuteronomy uh, 19, is that what? That two or three have to be gathered, uh, have to be together, gathered together to, to charge somebody against iniquity, right? To, 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 to validate their offense, right? So, so you, it's all about seeing. And so he's saying, we, this, is, this, is, this, is, this is the testimony. This is the New Testament, man, of them when they saw Yahweh Shai. That's what the New Testament is about. That's the record. That's what he's describing, again. Okay? First John, chapter one, verse one. They didn't have paper quarters back then. They didn't have no VCR or a TV or a camcorder. They had a, they had a, 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 a pen, not a pen, but a scribe, a pen and paper. They were moved by the Holy Spirit to write, to write it so. They were bearing the record. This is the record. 
that which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, seen with our eyes, uh -huh. which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled. They, they touched the Lord. They were wooden. They were hanging with us. Okay? They saw the spiritual power. They saw him get crucified. They saw the miracles. They saw him rise back after the dead. It was said in the scriptures that he spent, what, 40 days and 40 nights? 40 days and 40 nights until after he rose from the dead. The Lord. Uh -huh. um, which ye have looked upon and our hands have handled of the word of life. That's right. He's the word of life. The, the body of this Bible is the, literally the spirit of our Lord. That's the, he's the word of life. Uh -huh. For the life was manifested and we have seen it. And bear witness. We have seen it. We bear witness. See? This is see the, 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 the way he's talking? This is not like a regular, no, he's, he's, he's literally writing down a record. This is what I'm, I, I'm seeing. This is a record of what we saw the son of the Heavenly Father man. Huh? And bear witness and shew unto you that eternal life which was with the Father and was manifested unto us. That's right, he's manifested. He's manifested in the flesh. Not some, uh, not by immaculate concession, by the way. Well, cat, you idiot. All right? He came like he came on earth like any other man has to, or he came in his dimension like any other man has to come here by being uh, pregnant, a man putting his seed in a woman and being birthed that way, naturally. And the word natural goes back to the word natus, which means to spring forth or to or, or to be birthed. Right? You can't be birthed without a, 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 a man putting his seed in a woman first. Okay? So he, that's the way he was manifested. Literally, the word of the Holy Father. You know? Verse 3, That which we have seen and heard declare we unto you, that ye also may have fellowship with us. And truly, our fellowship is with the Father. And declare means to say out loud openly, and to also clearly, and also publish. To publish it. Witnesses. Yeah. So this is a declaration, man, of what they saw. And they published it. This is the record. Uh -huh. Witnesses, as he said. Uh -huh. That ye also may fellowship with us, and truly our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. And these things write we unto you, that your joy may be full. This then is the message which we have heard of him, and declare unto you that the Most High is light, and in him is no darkness at all. All right, well, you see, this is definitely spirit, because I, I didn't mean that one. I didn't mean to get that one. It's still, but still, you see? It just hit me now. I asked her. I said first time you're right, but I meant Satan time. You see? That's your program. I'm not my program. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you could go drop that. That was, that was me. I, 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 that was the wrong one, but actually, that was the right one. So let's get, let's get St. John the first chapter, so I... First, first, uh, the first chapter. First chapter, yeah. Something about um, John the Baptist. Hey, see? You see? Went right with what we're talking about. That's the Lord, man. Come on, man. Right. This is the book of St. John, chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with the Most High, and the Word was the Most High. The same was in the beginning with the Most High. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. Oh, uh, it's a lot. Uh, yeah, uh, here, uh, the, the, the term God is God. So it, it, it was uh, beginning with Yahweh Shad and the rest of the angels, the Alahayim. The, 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 the gods, man, the Alahayim. So it, it wasn't just one person, man. Okay, the same was in the beginning with the Most High. So the first fruits, Yahweh Shai, King David, the first fruits was uh, from the very beginning. Okay, the same was in the beginning with the with the Alahayim. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from the Most High, whose name was John. The same came for a witness, to bear witness of the light. Wait, what? The same came for a witness, 
to bear witness of the light. I hear you, brother. The same came for a witness. The same came for a witness. John the Baptist, he was sent from the Most High. And he did this. It just hit me now. John the Baptist and Yahweh Shai, their cousins, but they were in, they were basically being birthed at the same time. I, I believe what, uh, St. John, uh, St. uh, excuse me, John the Baptist was like six months older than, um, than, uh, than, uh, than the Lord. You see? So what even, and, 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 and the mother, they knew each other. They were cousins. So when, see, when, when the Lord was in the belly, uh, uh, John the Baptist was in the belly. So there were the two. And I, I forget where it is, when, when, John, the, when John the Baptist's mother got close to, to Mary, the, the stomach started to move. That's the spirit. So one more, one more again. The same came for a witness to same. bear witness of the light. Who's the light? Yahweh Shai. So he was sent down here on earth just to prove this is the son of the Heavenly Father. Yeah. And there was going to be no doubt about it that everybody was going to believe John the Baptist because he was such a high level they thought he was the Lord. Because they were going to believe him. He said, no. What you got? The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all men through him might believe. That see? The all men who might might hit through him might believe. So the reason people believe in Yahweh Shaker more because of John the Baptist. Because it was gonna show down a doubt this man was the man of the Lord. So all, all men through him might believe. And, and symbolically, what was John the Baptist? He would he was the one that was preparing the way for the Lord. Right? He was doing baptism. He was baptizing people right through the water, but that was all symbolic, really. But it was just, and that's what we're doing too. The Lord has been, that's what we put us Alva Bimmons. Alva Bimmons, right? Uh, um, he's John the Baptist. He's the first one to get this truth. And what did he do? He left the commandment keepers and went into the New Testament. So without, the, without Alva Bimmons, we would never be here, man. Down to King Marshall. High Priest Aikwab in El Dariya. And you revealed the truth. John, John, the, John, John the Baptist. Yeah. I said he was the Baptist. Adi Salakir. Salakir. He revealed the truth. Yeah. 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 So how do you feel the one to bring the children back to the Messiah? That's right. I had an over again. That's right. That he has to be the one. And the key thing, what did he do? How did he attain that knowledge? He left the commandment keepers. They're all about the Old Testament. They didn't believe in the Christian. Nah. No, I'm researching the New Testament. I'm, I'm believing more in Yahweh Shah. Yes, it is. It is. Uh -huh. He was not that light, but he, he was sent to bear witness of that light. He was not that light, but he was sent to bear witness of that light. Okay? So he was put on here on earth to say this man is the son of the heavenly father. He is the savior of the nation of Israel. Uh -huh. That was the true light which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. Illumination. Illuminated through the knowledge of our Lord. To light every man that cometh to the knowledge of the Lord. To be illuminated. So who's the real Illuminati? The men of the Lord. The elect. From following our light how it shines. The light carrier. The light bearer. Uh -huh. was he was in the world and the world was made by him and the world knew him not. He came onto his own and he his own received him not. Oh, I think that was it, right? Yeah. yeah. That's it. So what's what you got? What you got to see? So first John five verse it says, says we receive the witness of men, the witness of Yahweh, while Hashem Yahweh Shai is greater. Uh, 1 John 5 and 9. We receive the witness of men, the witness of the Most High is greater. For this is the witness of Yahweh, which have, which he had testified of his son. Damn. Everything you said in one word, one line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again? Oh, first, power, power. first John 5 and 9, we receive the witness of men, 
the witness of the Howard is greater. Right, right, right. So going into the law of the witness, right? Deuteronomy 19, when you accuse somebody of a transgression and you had a witness, that was powerful. Like, yeah. well, damn, we got a witness. All right. yeah. oh, uh, it looks like, it looks like it, it, it's true. Well, it be very well true, right? Yeah. But this is saying the witness of the Most High is even more powerful than, than, than man's witness, man. Because imagine, like, the, the, the Most High's witness is, is, is going to be um, a powerful, strong witness, man. See? I will read that again. It says, if we receive the witness of men, the witness of Yahweh is greater, right? For this is the witness of Yahweh which he has testified of the Son. Right? He that believeth on the Son of Yahweh have the witness in himself. See, so so if you believe in someone, if you if you believe in if you believe in uh, Yahweh Shai, you believe in the most high. Because Yahweh Shai was sent forth as that witness. It says, he that believeth not, the heavenly father hath made him alive. Right. So, so, so the belief in Yahweh Shai is very, very important, man. Okay? But so, anybody that just believes in, in, in the Old Testament, yo, man, you ain't, you ain't gonna manage that. Because you're missing the most important key to this and that's what the whole row. Well, yeah, they're not eating the whole row, and that's what the New Testament completes the Old Testament, right? Because the Old Testament was basically belief, belief, or showing your belief through the law. But the New Testament, right? Which is what the law, the law, right? You got civil laws, brotherly laws, dietary laws. That's how you show your your, your faith or your proof. When this go around, when you go down, shy. Is on the scene. It was through him you showed the whole thing. You see? Okay, but it's still part of the whole thing. The core thing is what? Belief in the Most High. Right? That's still the core in both. Belief in the Most High. It's just you show it differently. The Old Testament, you showed it through the law, the and commandments. New Testament, the Most High realized, or knew, he didn't realize, but you know, it was all part of the story. He knew that. The law wasn't perfect in the flesh that we're currently in. So what did he do? He gave us Yahweh Shai to be that sacrificial man. Through him, we can have that perfection that we all seek, right? It says, it says, he that believeth not, the Most High made him a liar, because he believed not, he believed not uh, the Son. Oh yeah, because he believed in God, the record that Yahweh gave of his son. Right. And that record is through Yahweh Shai, man. So if you don't believe in, in, in Yahweh Shai, I ain't dealing with you, man. See? Just like, you know, in, in the ancient days, if you didn't so go by the law's statute of commandments, I'm not dealing with you. There are consequences. Just like there are consequences for not believing in, in Yahweh Shai. My only begotten, the one that I gave for a testament on to me. Right? <laughs> All the witnesses. Yep. 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 It's the proof. Yeah. That's yep. That's like saying if, if, if you go to court and you've got, you know, your kids, the, 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 the evidence that you have is this word of mouth, right? Like, you know, I saw him. Right? <laughs> Now, if you've got videotape of him, of him actually doing the action, that's, that's a strong evidence, man. And that's what you have to is a strong, unbeatable evidence man, of what? Of, of, of the most high. Right? It says, uh, uh, first John so 5 and 11. You can't get any more stronger proof of the most high than, uh, than your homicide. It says, and this is the record that the, uh, Yahweh have given to us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. Uh, he that believeth the Son have life, and he that believeth not the Son of Yahweh have not life. See, so it's, it's plain, man. If you believe in Yahweh Shai, you don't have life. If you don't believe in Yahweh Shai, you don't have life, man. He is the key. 
Okay. Right. It says, these things have I written, written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of the Hour, that ye may know that ye have eternal life, and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of the Hour. Right, so let's see. The belief in Yahweh Shai is important, man. There's no way around it, man. There's no way around the, the belief in Yahweh Shai. That's the only access you have towards the Most High. The only access you have towards salvation is the belief in Yahweh Shai. chapter 3, I'll start at uh, verse 12. And the law is not of faith, but the man that doeth them shall live in them. Verse 13. Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, hath redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us, for it is written, cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree. Uh, read that again. This is the book of Galatians, chapter 3, verse 12. And the law is not of faith, but the man that doeth them shall live in them. Hamashiach Yahushua has redeemed us from the curse of the Lord. Right, so now that's it. Well, that's basically just something that I just said. Right? How, how, how you show your faith or allegiance to the Most High before Yahushua was supposed to through the law. Yeah. Right? Through the, through the civil laws, through the sacrificial laws, like you said, right? The dietary laws. Dietary. That's how you show your faith. Okay, I, I believe. Yeah. So I'm gonna I, I'm gonna do it this way. Yeah. Right? But yeah. there was there was fault in it was fault it was fault in that law because we would succumb to the flesh sometimes. Right? We, we would commit adultery. We would not we would uh, co co commit a sin and not do the sacrificial sacrifices. Okay? So that's how it was it was the mo most high purposely put a fault in, in the law. So what did he do? He gave us Yahweh Shai. You see? Right? Read that part again. Hamashiach Yahweh Shai hath redeemed us from the curse of the law. Right, so he saved us from the law, man. Yeah. We're not perfect. We're not, we're not perfect, we man. Perfect. We can't keep the law perfect, man. Yeah. So what did the Most High do? He gave us Yahweh Shai to be that, to be that sacrificial, uh, uh, to, to be that sacrifice on to the nation of Israel on our way to become perfect, right? Go ahead. Hamashiach Yahweh Shai hath redeemed us from the curse of the law, right? being made a curse for us. See? Being made a curse for us, right? He sacrificed himself for us, the nation of Israel, the nation of Israel, right? You know? Being made a curse for us, for it is written, cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree. I'm gonna drop down to verse uh, 21. Is the law then against the promises of the Most High? Most High forbid. Right. For if there had been a law given which could have given life, verily righteousness should have been by the law. Right, 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 right. So, yeah, so that's saying that um, um, the, the, law, the law isn't a way to become righteous. See, it's more to it than just keeping the law. Right? Yeah, that's to say the law is the law of death. Yeah, the law is also our guide. It's our guidance to the how about now shot. So we still have to keep the laws to the best of our ability. That doesn't mean that just because you know, through Yahweh Shah, we can receive eternal life, we're gonna stop keeping the law. Right. We right. still have to rehearse the righteous acts. Yep. Okay? Yep. But the Heavenly Father knows that we can't keep them perfectly, and that's the reason why He sent His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, the deliverer of the nation of Israel, right. to come and sacrifice Himself right. for the nation of Israel. Right. Okay, I'll let you take the point. Is the law then against the promises of the Most High? God forbid. For if there had been a law given which could have given life, 
verily righteousness should have been by the law. But the scripture have concluded all under sin, that the promise by faith of Yahawashai, Hamashiach, might be given to them that believe. See, see that? Might be given to them that believe. Believe in the Lord, Yahawashai, man. You see? I'm showing you how important the belief is. It's all about the belief. It's not about 100% the law because you can't keep the law 100%. Oh, you can't tell what the truth says. Yeah. Uh, they think they're perfect on Yeah, good luck with that. That's why we say hope for elect. Yep. Thank you. Well, we hope and, it, right? and that's why we say righteous, righteousness doesn't come by the law. It comes by, the law has something to do with it, right? But it comes by a, a faith in your house. A belief in your house. Right? And as I said, we're treating right as if righteousness was of the law, then it would give us life. Right. But there's not one law in the scripture that gives you life as a guy. It's, it's a destruction unto life. But it doesn't literally give you Everlasting life. Well, it says what? It's a schoolmaster? Yeah, it's a schoolmaster. Right. You know? Because really the law is a law of sin and death. Right. It's to tell you what happens when you go off. You know, so what's it going to say? There's, well, it's in here. I'll read the I'll read the right, right, right. Okay, I'll finish this. But the scripture hath concluded all under sin that the promise by faith in Yahweh Shai HaMashiach might be given to them that believe. But before faith came, we were kept under the law. Uh -huh, that's it. But before faith Woo. came, before Yahavashai came, we were what? But before faith came, right. we were kept under the law. We were kept under the law. Meaning that our only way was the law. Now, sure. now we have now we not only have the law, but we have the belief in Yahavashai. Right. The only way that you can say that you're perfect in keeping the law is to follow the one who is actually perfect. Because in other words, the Lord did the impossible. Because the Lord, the Lord did the impossible. The Lord had hundreds of years to get this right with the law. But it didn't, it didn't, it didn't make it right. He still kept going on. Right? So what? What, what, what can the law do for us? Now, it's a guide, of course, it's wisdom, but it's not there, it can't make us righteous. If that was the case, we wouldn't be in this situation right now. It's slavery, and away from our Lord, you know, not knowing who we are. But again, the thing is that, here it is, so basically saying, the Lord saying it's impossible. If the Lord, if the Lord wasn't sent here, then there would be, there wouldn't, there wouldn't be anybody who can do it. There would, there, there would be no elect, there would because be, there would be no savior, no deliverer. There would be no deliverer. <laughs> if the law, if the, basically, there's nobody who can keep the law perfect. In simple terms, man. So the fact that somebody, not somebody, but that, well, I'll say it like that, language term, that somebody came and kept the law perfect is a miracle in itself. Because it's really, it's impossible. So the fact that it, it happened proves that the Most High exist and that he said the Lord that, that the Lord is the son of the Holy Father because he actually did it. So that's that's the faith. That's the faith part. The hold up that we you know now the one that actually came down basically have to be God that actually came the law and, and actually is an actual supreme being which is Yahweh God he is a supreme being. He is supreme. Okay but before but before faith came, we were kept under the law, shut up onto the faith which should afterwards be revealed. But before faith came, we were kept under the law, shut up onto the faith which should afterwards be revealed. Wherefore the law was our schoolmaster to bring us onto Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. With, with, with the law, there's no faith in the law. Again, you have faith in it to, to, to follow it, right? But you have faith in it to make you righteous. Uh, the law, once the Lord came and God was able to live He became that, He became the, 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 the chariot of time, He became the faith of the scriptures. The faith in the law. You know, that we believe in Him, that we can be saved. 
why? Because it's the sun, but not the father. Look, it, it takes a lot more faith to believe in Yahweh Shai than to practice the law, right? Yeah. Because doing the law after a while, it just become repetitious, right? But to actually believe in a, a person to be a representation of the Most High, that takes a lot more faith. You see? Than just doing something that's, uh, so you become a after a while, right? And right. you're not even keeping it. Bring it, bring right, it right, and then, and then you're not even sacrificing sin. all the yeah. animals, not still not getting right. Yeah. Right? That's why the most I did yeah. yeah. Wherefore, the law was our schoolmaster to bring us onto Hamashiach, that we might be justified by faith. Right, that's how we're justified. We're justified exactly. through Yahweh Shai by faith in Yahweh Shai. We right? might, we might be justified. That we might be justified by faith. But after that faith has come, we are no longer under a schoolmaster. Yeah, we're, we're no under longer just under the law. Right. Okay, we're under, you know, faith in Yahweh Bashi Shai. That's what's going to deliver us back to the Father, is the mediator, the middleman, Yahweh Shai, the deliverer. chapter 2 verse 21 I do not frustrate the grace of the most high for if righteousness come by the law right. then Hamashiach is dead in vain right right you see so righteousness does not walk, come by the law it comes through the uh, faith and belief in Yahweh Shai see that and it makes sense right how the most high had to send Yahweh Shai down here because he was a, he was he represented that land without blemish. Right? He represented that land without blemish. He was that perfect sacrifice. So it, it had to be, Yahweh had to come down here and not sin. Right? Because he was that perfect sacrifice. Right? The same way when you went, when you sacrifice a lamb, you would you would you would um you would find a lamb that was perfect. And that lamb, that, which was Yahweh Shai, was perfect because he was a man that did not sin. Right? This is like Romans 7. Okay. Got it. This is Romans 7 and 7. Um, it says, um, what should we say then? Uh, I'll start from... Uh, I saw from five. Romans 7 and 5, it goes on, you guys. It says, For when we were in the flesh, the motions of sins, which were by the law, did work in our members to bring forth fruit unto death. But now, which represents your, your members, or your body, you know, uh, it gives us the flesh, the motion of sin, you know, putting in that action, going action, going off, because your flesh was doing it. Right? It says, for when we were in the flesh, the motions of sins, which were by the law, did work in our members to bring forth fruit unto death. But now we are delivered from, from the law, that being dead wherein we were, we were held, that we should serve in newness of spirit, and not in the oldness of the letter. What should we say then? Is the law sin? The most I forbid, nay, I had not known sin, but by the law. For I had not known lust, except the law had had said, thou should not cover. But sin, taken occasion by the commandment, brought in me all manner of concupiscence, for without the law, sin was dead. Yeah, so again it says, for what shall we say then? Is a law is a law sin? No, the law is not bad. Remember, it's not bad. It said, "The most I forbid, nay, I had not known sin, but by the law." So the only way we know transgressions and things that are, I'll just say, wrong, is by the laws of the Lord. It said, "But," it said, "Excuse me, nay, I had not known sin, but by the law." 
For I had not known lust, except the law had said, thou should not covet. Right? So basically, again, doing things we know that is wrong, because the laws is wrong, the most high, we but we can see the things that we can do But sin, taken occasion by the commandment, brought in me all manner of concupiscence, for without the law, sin was dead. It says, it says, exciting or impelling to the enjoyment of carnal pleasure. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, so that's basically what the body is, man. That's why the scripture says with Ephesians, what, the fourth chapter, it's the, um, uh, uh, the sin... Uh, how's it go with that? Matter of fact, let me just get it with the drum song. I know where it is. This is Ephesians. Uh, Ephesians. It's a lot. So I'll get it pull it up real quick. Ephesians 4 and uh, 5 and, oh, excuse me, Ephesians 5. Oh, I'm sorry, Galatians. Galatians 5 and 16. It says, This I say, walk in the spirit, you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the for the flesh lusteth against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh, and these are contrary one the one towards the other, so that ye cannot do the things ye would. But if ye be led of the Spirit, ye are not under the law. Right? So again, it's the point I wanted to bring out was just to say the scriptures. For the flesh lusteth against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. These are contrary one to the other. So that's what it's basically saying. Like when you just read the uh, Genesis. Basically, what it's saying, uh, 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 he did it on purpose. How can we be, believe in the Lord and then we can just do whatever we want? These bodies were set as a barrier to the Most High for Him to test our faith. Uh, this is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7, verse 4. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart of fools is in the house of birth. Again? The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart of fools is in the house of birth. Exactly. If you're feeling all your lust and carnal pleasures, you're going to be excited, man. It's that exciting. So, with that scripture, it says the house of birth. That means if you're in the house of birth, you would have to be uh, fulfilling all your uh, uh, lusty, uh, fleshly, human body pleasures, desires. But if you're in the spirit, you're going to be mourning. There's going to be a struggle, man. And then, and then it said a, a fool is in the house of birth. Right? Yeah. You're, you're an idiot. What did it say? What was the other one? The heart of the wise is wise. in the house of mourning. Right, yeah, that's that's wise, man. Because once you increase in knowledge, you, you increase sorrow. In sorrow, yeah. man. You start to realize certain things. You start to realize that you're in captivity. Yeah. You start to realize the things that you were taught and you learned were all false. You start to realize your true identity. That becomes, in a way, the blessing, man. Yeah. And you're not happy. And you don't want to go out and party. Because you realize that uh, partying and being in the house of birth is the enemy of the Lord, man. Much knowledge is much grief. You have to fulfill all your flesh and desires. Flesh and desires, yeah. It leaves you empty, man. See, so that's what it is at the end of the day. All the stuff we're describing. But really, it all goes back to you're going to be in the house of mourning because you're going to feel like, hold up, man. I got these commandments from the Lord, but I can't, 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 I
the body design is, is we just read it is is the, the, the flesh the lust is against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh right. so back in Romans 7 it says it says um, um Romans uh, Romans 7 You know? So people who glory in the body, man, and say you're perfect, you, 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 you don't, you don't got it. You don't understand the Bible at all. This is what this is about. What do you think the Lord's gonna come back with? He has a special delivery. I'm not talking about black, black or up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was special that was delivery. G -G death, oh, my bad. Oh, my bad. My bad. I'm thinking about whoa, right? Special delivery. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah, but the special delivery is for the new body, man. Right? <laughs> All right, so Romans 7, Romans 7. Right. Romans 7 and 7, it says, What shall we then? Is the law, is the law sin? The most high forbid. Nay, I had not known sin, but by the law. For I had not known lust, except the law had said, Thou shalt not covet. Verse 8, But sin, taken occasion by the commandment, brought, brought in me all manner of concupiscence, for without the law, sin was dead. Yeah, because it said, uh, it says sin by uh, an occasion. So it says, But sin, taken occasion. Sin, taken occasion, because occasionally you're going to sin. Yeah. Gonna, you can be perfect for two, three, perfect for two years, but one thing you can, you gonna sin. If that's the case, why do we have the day of atonement? Some of us have to work on the Sabbath. Yeah. Yeah. So especially now, nah, mixed fabric. Yeah, mixed well, fabric. That's the sin. Well, there's no way in hell we have hope in this in this around. Let alone in the ancient world, man. And it was difficult then. So what about please? That's what we definitely need for now. We need to have a shot, man. Just like you said, we wearing clothes with mixed, mixed, mixed fabrics, man. You know, but we're supposed to move in, you know. We're wearing clothes with mixed fabrics. I mean, we're, we're in a sinful nation. All you got to do is push two buttons, you can see your fucking the phone phone pornography for two, two, you know, two seconds. That wasn't around in nature, world, well, and, and not everybody's strong enough to withhold it. You know? You know, you, you know that's, you know, another example, too. Here it is, you got a, uh, what other ones are hard? Well, anything, man. You look at your woman. Oh, of course. And she's on her period. Oh, yeah, she's supposed to be away from you for seven days, man. But she's oh, still no. living with you. She's still living with you. You know, being next to you. Right. That's against our law, man. That's against the laws. You know, a beautiful example, man. Come on, so when we, when we out here, we go to the restaurant, we don't know if this woman's in a rag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She don't know who, you know what I mean? We don't know who she touched. Because even the person who touched you, she's the file now. So even after having sex, you're supposed to shower, man. For water. You want to clean until the evening. Yeah, yeah. Until the evening, man. So how can you, you know, that's what we, you know, and, 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 and see, this is why this is the, the, the land of the devil, the land of hell. Hell means grave and sin is the way you death. Because when you have your own property, your own land, you can have sex with women and maybe go to another court and leave for the day. You're not going to fight your boy over, after, you know what I mean, after that. But Esau doesn't even allow you to have more than one woman. Well, yeah, that's another subject. Yeah, yeah. Man is a woman. Yeah. That's why, you know, that's why I meant to love someone because you have to have one woman. But anyway, so. No, we don't. We don't. Are you doing something around? Verse 9, it says, for I, for I was alive without the law once, but when the commandment came, sin revived me, and I died. For I was alive without the law once, but when the commandment came, sin revived, and I died. That's right, sin revived, and I died. Right, so when the commandment came, the Lord gave us a, a, te a template of righteousness to tell us, look, these are the things that are wrong, that bring sin and death onto you. These are the laws that are bringing life. You know? 
And basically, it's going to go into it. But basically, when where is no, if there's no law, there's no sin, right? Meaning that you know, if you're if you're if you're not breaking the law, then you're 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 committing more life on you. But when the commandment came, that was the knowledge of sin and death. It was the knowledge of what not to do. Curses. What's going to happen if you break that law and transgress? That proves one of the curses. That proves that we're wicked because if 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 if, if, if we were perfect, then we, the Lord would, would have to give us the commandments. You have to tell us, tell us nothing. That's like if, if if you raise a child and he's doing everything right, why tell him? I mean, you're going to tell him right from wrong, but you're not going to keep repeating it because he's doing everything right. But if you have a bad kid or whatever, he's just going to go into trouble. You're going to have to set a rule for this thing to turn into, you know, the only rule for this being right. Which proves that what? There's set, you got rules, well, he, uh, uh, let's say he's got two sons, well, he's allowed to do it because he, he, he's good. You can't do it, you got a good rule for your ass, you're still a bad kid. This is what you can and can't do. Why? Because it proves that he's wicked. So laws, laws are there to prove that we're wicked. Prove we're not perfect. I was alive without the law once. I but when the commandment came, sin revived and I died. And the commandment, which was ordained to life, I found to be death. I found to be unto death. For sin, taking occasion by the commandment deceived me, and by and by it slew me. Yeah, so by the commandment deceived me, and by what? Slew me? It says, for sin, taking occasion by the commandment deceived me, and by it slew me. Yeah, so basically, if you think in your righteous, which by keeping the laws, you deceive. Because, again, you're going to occasionally go off. These bodies are corruptible. They're corruptible. So you be thinking, yeah, ha-ha, man, I'm perfect. Yeah, yeah maybe you went on, I mean, which is impossible, maybe you went on not committing sins for one, so you think you're righteous. But no, that, if it, you, then you're deceived. Read that part and you're deceived, man. Because why? You end up, you end up going off anyway. That's luck. It says, for, for sin, take an occasion, by the commandment deceived me and by it slew me. Yeah, because sin is the, uh, the wages of sin is death. The more you commit sin, you're accumulating, you're slewing yourself. Wherefore the law is holy and the commandment holy and just and good. The commandment is holy which means sanctified and true. The commandment's holy. What do you say? Sorry. Wherefore the, the Wherefore the law is holy, and the commandment holy, and just, and good. Sorry. It says, Was then that which is good made death unto me? The most I forbid. But sin, that it might appear sin, working death in me, by that which is good. That sin by the commandment might become exceeding sinful. Last two verses uh, it says, was, was then, I'm sorry, was then that which is good made death unto me? The most I forbid. But sin. That's right, because the laws are good. The laws are God. Alright? So that which is good, is it made death unto me? No, they're still, they're a guide. They're a direction. Uh -huh. The most I forbid. But sin, that it might appear sin, Working death in me by that which is good. The sin is because, yeah, if you, if you commit a sin once again, you're working death on to yourself. But it's a good thing that you're, you know, you're trying your best to follow the commandments. Because not doing this only is a good thing. Which means goes back to God. Yeah, it says, but sin that it might appear sin working death in me by that which is good, that sin by the commandment might become exceeding sinful. By sin by the commandment might become exceeding, exceeding, what? Exceeding, exceeding sinful. 
For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am carnal, so under sin. That's right. It says perfectly right. I mean, I, you don't really need to expound on that. I'm carnal, so under sin. You see? So if the flesh is carnal, like you looked up earlier, you can see which basically what? Carnal lust in the sight of carnal joy, right? Carnal lust. So Paul said, I am a carnal soul under sin. So meaning, we're in the flesh, we're in the body, and we're subject unto sin. Period. You know, a, a, a Lamborghini, a Bugatti's made to drive fast. Or turtles made to go slow. The body was made to sin. The body was designed to sin. I am carnal, so under sin. Uh -huh. And the Lord did it that way. On purpose. Why? For a greater purpose, which is the Lord, that was shot, man, to bring us into a new, a new, uh, 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 A new covenant, because he, why, uh, which is the great, a greater promise. See, this is just a, the first, oh man, this is just the first steps of coming into our Lord, man. Of knowing our Lord. It's just no different from a child. When he has a set of laws from age one to a baby to 12. He has a set of laws to, to build him up to be a man. You know? So these laws, you know, are set up for us to be powers, man. We're still infants, infant spirits. You know? Going through the trials and errors of this fucking wicked body to, to be on a level of what the Most High plan for us, which is the ultimate covenant, which is to be heirs in his kingdom. To be powers in his kingdom. So we, we have to go through this uh, sinful body. We have to go through slavery and all this oppression and all this, you know, the darkness, you know, to, to get to the light, you know, to get to that to the, to the kingdom, man. To be what he wants us to be, which is the covenant, the promises, the kingdom of heaven, fear, God's powers. Holy, like the brother said. Pure, not, not committing any sin. So for anybody to say they perfect already, you don't you don't understand the Bible, man. You don't understand the scriptures. Like Paul said, I am carnal, sold under sin. Your body is, is supposed to go off. Your body was designed to go off. Just like a, a Lamborghini is made to go fast, or Toro's made to go slow. Your body's made to go off. So you're not perfect. You need the Lord. says for, for that for that which I do I allow not a lot of power it says for that which I do I allow not but I would for what I would that do I not it says verse 13 was then that which is good made death unto me the most I forbid but sin that it might appear Sin, working death in me by that which is good, that sin by the commandment might become exceeding sinful. By sin by the commandment, that it might become exceeding sinful. Huh? The more you commit sin, the more you exceeding more um exceeding to yourself, exceeding more death unto yourself. All right. So this is it's a we call it when a rat runs in a cage, right? It's a, I forget what the term you call it is. It's just. Not a, a hamster wheel, a squirrel cage. You know, the body was designed, you're just going to be running, running for this righteousness, and you're never going to reach that level. Because again, the body was made to go off, it was made not to be perfect. So the more the more you go on, the more exceeding simple you're going to become. And that's why we die. You know, it's going to say we die daily. There's nobody living forever here. Why? Because we sin. If you were perfect, you would live forever. For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am carnal, sold under sin. 
For that which I do, I allow not. For that which I do, I will lie not. And what, and what do you want to do? Well, that's talking about the body. Your body wants to uh, 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 not, not obey the commandments. Your body wants to fill this, this lustful flesh. You know, if you let the body take over, you'll have all these all day, man. With all these yeah. you, you, you'll do it, and it may be worse. Yeah. It says, for that which I do, I allow not. Eating anything you want. You can't eat anything you want. It's you gotta eat what, what, what God's your laws and scriptures. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta be holy in the Sabbath day. There's certain times you gotta give honor to the Lord. Right? Because the body don't want to do it. The spirit, the spirit is wrong, but the flesh is weak. For that which I do, I allow not. For what I would, that do I not. But what I hate, that do I. That's right. And what I hate, that do I. Now it's not like you hate doing this truth, but you're going, you're fighting against the body. Now we're, we've been in this truth for years, man. But it, we, we, we're way we're right different from what we were when we came in. Maybe it was hard for us not to go to the lounge when we came in the two. Yeah. Not to go to this barbecue with the boys. But now we don't give a damn. <laughs> we, we're not even trying to go to nothing like that. We're separate from society. So now, since we're even uh, 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 so, so into the spirit instead of the flesh, we become more in the spirit instead of the flesh. Why? Because we follow and believe in our child. Uh, it says, verse 16, If then I do that which I would not, I consent unto the law that it is good. Again. If then I do that which I would not, I consent unto the law that it is good. That's right. It's godly. That means, okay, the most I says, I'm actually not doing these things that we can do before. I'm actually changed my ways. You know one reason I'll testify real quick. You know one reason I believe in the most high? Because I stopped smoking weed. There's nothing in the in the universe that was gonna stop me doing that. And then when it when it when it when I stopped, I said, wow, that was that was good. You know? And that's just one example. You know, you become a changed man. Put on the new man. Put on, put on the new man like old, old man away, man. Put that old you before the Lord woke us up. You gotta put that old man to, away. Get out of here. I don't I'm not that no more. And then we gotta put on this new man, which is the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Okay, put on this truth. Okay. Live it. Believe it. He was he wasn't made to be like this. <laughs> Can't tell Jake that though. Says verse 17. Now that I'm sorry. Now then it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. Boom, you see? Now this is what we're standing up for. We came to resolution. Hold up, man. Now I know it's not I I do it, it's sin that's doing it in me. It's the flesh. Why? Because what does the Lord say? Great is he that is in you than he that is in the world. So we know we, the only reason we're standing up here is because Yahweh Shai got to stand up here. Yahweh Bai Shemar Shai got to stand up here, man. Yahweh Bai Shemar Shai has us committing these, uh, 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 sub, uh, subjecting our spirit onto, uh, on, the, on the spirit of righteousness, man. On his spirit. To do the right, the righteous things of the Lord, man. To not fulfill the lust of the flesh. And we needed the New Testament to do that. We needed the belief in our Lord to do that. That's the New Testament. To believe in Yahweh Shai, which is the son of the Heavenly Father, man. He is the New Testament. He's the embodiment of the whole scriptures. That he's the only one that was perfect. So, because how did, how did, how did the Lord do it? The Lord said himself. When, when, when it went to the Lord, they said, they said, Lord, good master. He said, oh, look, don't call me good. Why is thou call me good? There's only one that's good, and that's the Heavenly Father, Abba Yahweh. That's how you humble Yahweh. That's how you know he's sin. That's right. Yeah. That's right, exactly. So basically what he's saying, the only reason I was perfect is because the Most High 
right, made me, uh, uh, I, my belief in the Most High, which is my father, to paraphrase the Lord, this is the only reason I'm not committing sin, because in the Most High is sin. That's why, the, that's why, that's why, again, this comes, you said, with the Romans 12, or 8 and 1, the Most High was sent, get it real quick, Rom, uh, Romans 12, or, or, or Romans 8 1, it says, uh, the Most High was sent in a, in a sinful body, to condemn sin in the flesh. Got it. Uh, this is Romans 8, and I'm going to start at 1. Power. It says, There is therefore is okay. no condemnation to them uh, which are in Hamashiach Yahweh. That's right. There's no harsh judgment with them that are in the Lord, man. You can't come up here and judge us. We walking in the spirit of the Lord, man. We up here confessing the name of the Lord. How are you going to judge us? You you live in the flesh. You live, you live, you, you, like we looked at before, you live in the I can't say it right, but concupiscence, right? Follow the lust of your uh, of your exceedingly, you know, ex well, how to go? Being excited to, uh, to fulfill the joy of your flesh? In the house of birth. Yeah, in the house of birth. You enjoying the life? Well, how you doing? You're not enjoying the life in the spirit somehow. You have your two legs and your, your big ass head and your arms. Oh, I can be talking right now, I can Right? And enjoying the life what life has to offer you, which is nothing but death and sin. Yeah, yeah that's the easy way. It's easy to sin. It's hard to do righteousness. It says, yeah, like the brother said, you got this is the straight man. All right, you walk in the wide gate, the broad way. Believing in the Lord is a straight gate because we got to walk in the tight rope, and we got to, you know, we can't do it because why? You're in, and see, you can't go out it. We're in a sinful body. It says there is no, I mean, there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Hamashiach Yehoshua, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For the law of the spirit, it says, for the law of the spirit of life in Hamashiach Yehoshua have made me free from the law of sin and death. Start from the top here. It says there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in the, uh, Hamashiach Yehoshua, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. That's right, you walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit, okay? This is the understanding if you believe in God and the Lord. Now your body that you're in right now is what is is, is of the flesh, obviously. It goes off. It's corrupted. It's corrupt. Go on, it's corruptible, man. So again, one more time. Stop. Yeah, that's showing you right now is not the time to live in the flesh, man. Yeah. Right now is the time to live in the spirit. Things according to what the most high wants you to do. Not not doing what feels good. Yeah. Right? Because like I just said, sinning or going off is easy. Yeah. Especially in the world that we live in today, man. Wait, this is the capital of sin, yeah. Yeah. But doing but doing but but being but doing righteous acts is very, very hard, man. Yeah. Especially in this sin. See? Yeah. It says for the and, Lord. And I'm sorry, I just got to back, you know, back up, you know, build on that because why? We're in the, that's why this is Babylon the Great. This, this, this land, I America. Just, it's like it. Go ahead. It's like a, it promotes it. I was, I was, I just saw a trailer called, it's called Babylon. Oh, we're passing. We're passing. You see that? Basically. And it's basically about, you know, it's basically about LA. That's like the, the birth of Hollywood. That's what it is. And it's in the pictures like, don't you want to put a place where you can just do anything you want? This party all night. She was basically describing LA, man. And that's how LA Hollywood started. Yeah. And you see LA today is damn uh, it's a fucking uh, a fucking capital city, man. Yeah. You could basically call the you could basically call LA Babylon, man. Which yeah. now yeah. which which you know America's Babylon. Yeah. But LA, those major cities you go, whenever anybody vacations, they always go to a major city in that state oh, okay. to party. What's the sister of oh, Hollywood? Sin City, Las Vegas. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's Sin City. Oh, Sin City. And what did it say? What's Vegas? You got there, there. Stay there. Vegas. <laughs> Vegas. You can go anything you want. Sin City, but Sin City, you got every city you go there, it's a miniature Babylon within every city. Yeah. You want to go to Babylon, go to the major city in, in that state where you can fulfill all your lusty concupiscence. You know? That, that's true. 
right. I just saw the killer. You saw it and it was just partying. Ah, Remember the one? I, it was coke? Yeah, sniffing coke. He said, I want, he said, I, she, she screamed something. He said, I want to do something, something. And everybody got quiet. And Brad Pitt was like, fuck yeah, or something like that. Some shit. Fucking Babylon. You know? Man. Fucking Babylon. That's right. right. Well, back in Romans 8 and 2, it says, For the law of the spirit of life and Hamashiach Yahawashah have made me free from the law of sin and death. Uh, Romans 8 and 2. For the law of the spirit of life and Hamashiach Yahawashah have made me free from the law of sin and death. One more time, slower, For the law of the spirit of life and Hamashiach Yahawashah. The law of the spirit of life and the spirit of Yahweh uh huh. have made me free from the law of sin and death. That's right, that's a love that scripture, man, because there's, <laughs> there's, there's two, there's laws of the flesh, but then there's laws of the spirit. What's the laws of the spirit? Is the faith in Yahushai, all right? So basically, if you were to separate your spirit and your flesh, the spirit has one law, and the flesh has another law, just to, if you would understand it, all right? You have the, the flesh has a law, which is what? Of, of, of the commandments, Keep of your members. But then, on a, on a deeper level, we're spirit, we're spirit first. And who's in charge of the spirit? Well, the, the son of the father of the spirits, Yahweh Shai. Ultimately, that's what the New Testament, the Testament is about. It's to believe in the, in, in the son of the Holy Father, the, the, the son of the father of the spirits, which is through faith. Uh -huh. Verse 3, it says, so people, what? people believe that they just want faith. You're too busy. I put the Bible in it. We got the flesh and the spirit and the spirit and the flesh. We're not one. And we're, what we're doing, we're separating ourselves, right? We're being sanctified from this world and ultimately, like you said, through the flesh. We're separating ourselves from the flesh. We're not trying to fulfill the lust of the flesh. Uh -huh. It says, For what the law could not do, in that it is weak through the flesh, the how was sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh. Again. It says, for what the law could not do. That's right, what, what, the, what did the law, what can't the law do? There you go. The law can't make you righteous. The Lord gives us plenty of time to get it right. Right, so what the law cannot do. Uh -huh. It says, in that it is weak through the flesh. In that it is weak through the flesh. So that means these bodies are weak. And we're talking about ancient times, man. What, let, let alone now. And you got people think they're holy now. That's why you Christians, man. You know, you, 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 you don't got it. You don't got it, man. They like to claim they're saved. They're saved. They're perfect. In order to be saved, you have to be made perfect. Yeah. Still out here eating pork, shrimp, crab, pasta, you know, accepting sodomites into the congregation. It says, for what can the, it says, for what the law cannot do, and that it is weak through the flesh, Yahweh said to his own son, in the son, in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin, condemn sin in the flesh. See, that's the point. Read that again. The power is slow. Romans 8 and 3. For what the law cannot do, in that it is weak through the flesh. Yahweh sent to his own son. The Most High sent his own son, Yahweh Shai. Uh -huh. In the likeness of sinful flesh. In the likeness, what does it mean? The likeness. He sent him in the body. He sent him in the, in the sinful flesh. Why again, like we're saying here, the body's designed to go off. And that's the way it was made. Okay, so the most side is making a point to the son Yamashai and proving that basically it's like uh, riding in a, uh, give me a slow car. I don't know, fucking uh, Toyota Camry. What's the other one that's a hybrid? Toyota Prius. Prius, yeah, that's, everybody laughs at that car, right? The Toyota Prius. Yeah, brother, just about it. <laughs> when you look at that car, it's kind of funny looking at it. 
Let me go with Mark Warburg. Oh, shit, we got one right here. Alconic. Oh, okay. That's What's a plug-in. That's a plug-in. It's a Honda. Yeah. Okay. So but imagine that car is made to be a hybrid of goes to speed. Just think of Bugatti. That, that, it's not made for that. It's not made it with the parts, every, the wheels. Look at the wheels. You got wheels that's greater for speed. That's probably greater than A and B. The slowest wheel possible, but no grip. A goddamn two cylinder engine. If they even make them. We, we gas water pump. A AAA battery, you go with battery, you got from Walmart, and you can stick it in there to, to make the car run. We, we gas gas. Regular gas, not even premium, with a high octane. Imagine that car just in the Bugatti, man. That's not supposed to happen. Because why? What's it designed that way? So the, the Most High sent Yahweh Shai in 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 a, in, 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 in a body that was not designed to be righteous on purpose to prove a point. Because if, if you see this car. And a guy just dusts the Bugatti. Remember, Bugatti, they go to 300 miles an hour. I think that's the record. 285, 283 hundred miles an hour. You got planes that go that fast. Imagine the Prius going dusting a Bugatti. You're going to say, wait a minute. That's, you understand. It's impossible, right? Yeah. You're thinking, you're going here. But imagine it doing it. That, that represents how we shot. Because he did it. Right? He beat the Bugatti. He was, he, he was able to come in a sinful flesh and not, not commit not one sin. That's right. It says, back in Romans 8 and 3, it says, For what the Lord could not do, and that is his weak flesh. Okay, it says, it says, sin in his own son in the likeness of sin in the flesh, and for sin, condemned sin in the flesh. And for sin, condemned sin in the flesh. So not only did he, the most I sent the Lord down in, in a wicked body, in a sinful body, in the sinful body, he condemned sin in the flesh. So like a double dose, man. He's cursing out the wicked bodies in a, in a wicked body. But, but, but while being perfect. Uh, that's one of my favorite scriptures, man. So again, imagine uh, 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 this uh, a joy to even even him not sinning is him con sin condemning sin. Yeah, that's it, right. It, so that's it's like, it is. right? Yep. Did you say that? No, no, no. You're right. Okay. I said he said it, but no. Because him, because him being perfect doesn't mean sin. Because it's um, what's that in Corinthians? Oh, death, where, where is thy sin? I got it. Well, you got it, you better get it. Hold that. Yeah, because through Yahweh Shai, what did he do? He condemned sin in, in the flesh. That's why when he was on the cross, he said, uh, you know, it's, it is finished or it, it is done. So he, he was able to condemn sin in the flesh. Right? This is the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 15, verse 51. Right. Behold, I shew you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. Right, and that, that's going into... That's the, the, uh, the, the prophecy of the elect getting beamed up in, into the chariots, into those new bodies, and becoming perfect. Yeah. Right? Go ahead. Um, for this corruptible must put on incorruption. Right. The corruptible body, that corruptible flesh, shall put on what? Incorruption. A body and a flesh and a mind that will not sin it. Right? Yeah. Go ahead. And this, and this mortal must put on immortality. Right, that's when we become immortal. Right, this mortal flesh, this sinful, weak uh, of flesh will become immortal now. Where we're gonna be perfect, where, where sin is not gonna be able to corrupt us anymore, right? Go ahead. So when this 
incorruptible shall have put on incorruption, right. and this mortal shall have put on immortality, right. then shall be brought to pass the same right. that is written. Death is swallowed up in victory. Yeah, death is swallowed up in victory, right? O death, where is thy sting? O death, where is thy sting? Meaning, death, or death comes by way of transgression. If we're not going to transgress anymore, if sin was totally uh, uh, obliterated by Yahweh Shai, where is thy sting? That means we're not going to go through any more death anymore. So that's how, the, and, and that's what Yahweh Shai did here on earth. He, this, he, he what? He conquered sin in, in the flesh, in the sinful flesh. He actually jumped in a Prius, a, 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 a Hyundai Iconic, and totally waxed, dusted, you know, what's, you know whatever that, term. Actually, we're not even start yet. Yeah, yeah, you know, hold up. See? It totally <laughs> obliterated a Bugatti, man. <laughs> In, in this flesh, man, man. imagine all the, all the women he, he doesn't see, you know, yes. back in the day. Push from him, no, he had them off. Satan, Satan, he, he had, when, when he was at a, when he was at a weak point, fasting for 40 days and 40 nights, yeah. which, which Satan knows when, when, you're at, when you're at your weakest, yeah. and he knows what, how to get you. Yeah. He knows how, what to tempt you with. That's part of his his uh, power, man. And even when he's fasting for forty days and forty nights, I mean, that, that's even even fathom that. I mean, that's, a, that's, another, that's impossible. Another level of strength. <laughs> that's impossible. No food, no drink. Yeah, that's a yeah, You can do it if you're drinking liquid water. Right. But if you're doing forty days, forty nights, no right. food, no drink. You can't be dead, man. I mean, the, the the ancient men in those days used to fast for days. You yeah, see? yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, just to show you the the, 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 the level that Yahushua was on. He did it for 40 days and 40 nights, right? But he was tempted by Satan to get all these powers and principalities yeah. and rulership. And he, he, he said, no, man, he was that strong. He right? rebuked the tempter. Right? Yeah. And then he said, get me behind me, Satan. Get, yeah. get me yeah. Yeah. Cut him with the scripture. Yeah. 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 Oh, death, where is thy sting? Right? Oh, grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin. And the strength of sin is the law. You see that? It says the sting of death, right? The is sting sin. of death is sin, and the right? strength of sin is the law. And the strength of sin is the law. Okay? Because according to the law, that's how you, you know, if you do the opposite, that's what? That's sin. Okay? Verse 57, but thanks be to the Most High, which giveth us the victory through our Lord, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. Right, he giveth us the victory through what? Through our Lord, Yahweh Shai. So that's how we're able to become victorious through Yahweh Shai. We can't do it on ourselves because we're not perfect. But Yahweh Shai is. Right? He done did it already. He done, he done fought our battles for us. Yeah. So to waste, to waste that man to say, to say, to say that, to say that, to say it, come on man. <laughs> to say, to say that, uh, I am, to say the words, not even to think it, to say the words, I am perfect, man. <laughs> That's a slap in the face. Really, really? It's a uh, slap boy. in the face that Yahweh shot. Because yeah. yeah. you're yep. saying, I don't need you. Yeah. I got this. Are you? What? Yeah, you, you. I am perfect. Man, yeah, that's all I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. But your labor is not in, so it's all about the Lord, man. We gotta, we have a, 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 a debt to pay to who? Onto the Lord. Yeah. We have a oh, debt man. to pay onto the Most High yeah. through the Lord. And we owe. Yeah, you see? We owe, we owe man. Yeah, we owe money, man. Yeah. But give us our debt to We forgive our debt to You see that? And, and that's, a, that's a daily prayer. That's a daily prayer, man. Forgive us our, 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 our debts. Sin. You see? Right? Ways to sin. You see? Right? 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 Right
Lord is able. In verse 4, it says that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. But they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. Right, right. They, so, they that are of the flesh are worried about the things of the flesh. They that are of the spirit are worried and concerned about things of the spirit, man. It's very, uh, ABC, right? Right, well, that's yeah, well, the Verse uh, 6, it says, For to be carnally minded is death. Be, uh, what's that C word again? Cupiscence. Yeah, I can never say it. That's going to lead you to your death. Yep. You are anxious to do those carnal things. That was a good way to put it. I'm, I'm not going to say it like that. Look it up. Look up stuff. But it said, what exciting? Exciting, excitement for joy, carnal pleasure. pleasure. Carnal pleasure. Yes, yes, yes. Ex excitement for carnal pleasure. That's something I remember that. Right? So, so we learn on the uh, Excitement for look at excitement for carnal pleasures. So that's what really the body is. It's all it's the body is all creatures. This guy got me a fucking. Yeah, you know I was looking at the off, not off, off and all subjects. They got to be like a CIA or something like that. Look at them in the mask. 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 You might be one of those, man. Come on down and check yourself. He's an agent, man. That's it. So it's probably not even a real face. Look at these guys right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It says, uh, Romans 8 and 6. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. But uh, because the common mind is enmity against the how about some that was shot. But it is not it, it is not subject to the law of the most high, neither indeed can be. So then ye that are in the flesh cannot please the most high. Yeah, see? Ye that are in the flesh cannot, can not, can't, not in can, can you can reverse any want. <laughs> you can't read, read it again, come on. Uh, I started. I started at six years. It says, "But but to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace, because the carnal mind is enmity against the Most High, but it is not subject to the law of the Most High, neither indeed can be." That's right. It's not subject to the law of the Most High. If you're, if you're, if you're just in the flesh, right? It's not subject to the laws of the Lord. Just like the, the, the days before. Um, really the first world before like the day the, the, the people well the people like the time before Adam the law wasn't on earth then they were just running around doing what they wanted to do you know and even the time when Adam was there you still had other other so there was a nation but other people well, nation can say doing what they wanted to do there was only the Lord that gave it to Adam which is the breath of life which is the wisdom not the understanding you know of really righteousness and wisdom Going to a godlike level, but then well, how did it all boil down? Listen to the woman. Alright? Because she's a walking to the top. But the point is though, everybody else besides Adam, they didn't have the truth. You know, so it, it all, it, 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 it all all to this day. You know? So and that, that's that's you know that's that's what it's great. <laughs> It says, uh, verse 8, so then they that are in the flesh cannot please the most high. But ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. And so be that the spirit of Yahweh dwell in you. And that's right. And what's the example that we're in the spirit? We confess and testify in the name of Yahweh by Shema Rashad. Okay? It says, that's, now, that's, that's the point. We're out here confessing the name of the Lord. That's how we that's how we know and we are witnesses, the true witness of Yahweh Shah. We're out here confessing his name. We're out here giving the testimony spiritually. It's not us, the flesh out here. If you look at that's why I said the guy in the mirror, that's not who you are. It's the spirit in us out here. The Lord, the spirit in us out here 
confessing the name. This is the proof that we are witnesses of it. We can testify because we know and understand the Holy Spirit. It says, uh, Now if any man have not the spirit of the Mashiach, he is none of his. And guess what? We're doing what the Lord doing. And we're not perfect, but we're in Jesus. Right? We're in the spirit. So in other words, this will be right before the Lord has sent the to send us down. The same way that we send the Lord down in a simple body, in a simple, in a simple flesh. But we're condemning the sin in the flesh of the Lord. Now, we're not doing it like the Lord, but we believe in the Lord because he is the, uh, the uh, prototype. He actually did it fully. You know? So who else are we going to follow? And we are. That's why it says what? Uh, of the chicken beating of the condemnation. And beating the uh, condemnation, pulling the chains of, out of your mind, I forget where this is the rent is. Uh, so the stronghold in your mind, right? The I forgot how it goes. It's out of my bed. It's a very good thing. Yeah, pulling down the strongholds. You know, so we're able to do what we're doing. So we're, we're, that's why we're, we're little Yahweh shots, right? That's why we're, we're achieving perfection, just by believing in his faith. But again, we don't, we're not just believing, we're actually doing what we preach to the best of our ability. We're pretty ever shy for us to lead us that way. So. We're, 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 uh, our value is measured by, by our faith, not by us keeping the law or how perfect we do these things, right? Our value is measured by our faith, which, which is good. You know? Luckily, that's the way it is. I hope, you know, the good thing is not by us keeping the law because we all would have been. That's why it says there's no condemnation. In the beginning of that, right? It says there's no condemnation on to the men that, that follow. Okay. See? Yeah. And, 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 and the Most High gave us a pardon. But he's giving us a party, you know. You know, so go willing where amongst those that have that party by the most high. Okay. 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 Second Corinthians 10 and 4. It says, For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Yeah, that's right. We're not up here having guns at post. We're not out here promoting guns at camp. Our warfare is what? Well, it's about to say. Yeah. It says, but mighty through Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, to the pulling down of strongholds. Yeah, to the pulling down of strongholds. All right? And so what is, how are we battling? So how are we really battling this, this the battle of believing in the Most High? Right? Is the ultimate battle, like we always say, is battling ultimately yourself, along with yourself, which is in the world. That's why the world will not give with phrase, Lord willing, is that we go through our problem up or down, the perfect thing I, I, I could express and say is that, don't worry about it, man. At the end of the day, I can say that the world, the world is now you, and you are not the world. Right? Because all the problems that, that, that are attached to us are attached to the body. Whether you think you're slow and not quick enough to learn something or whether you can't get this job or whether you, this happening to you or, or whatever it is man these are all problems that the Lord designed especially for you but guess what those problems no matter where where you try to connect uh, uh try to uh examine it it's all connected to who connected to the body that you're in and the body doesn't represent you the, 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 the spirit inside you represents who you are which ultimately is Yahweh Shah Yahweh Bash that's what you say Greater is, he, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. And that, so that's the ultimate body. It's, it's battling uh, yourself first, which all your, yourself is attached to, to this goddamn world. Getting a, a woman pregnant that you never wanted to get pregnant in your own goddamn existence, and it happened. You know? Et cetera. You know, whatever shit you're going through, man. So, again, Salah. It says, for the weapons 
about warfare or not carnal. Yeah, we're not battling believing in the Lord carnal with a gun and the sword and the high. This is how I believe in the Lord. No, how are we battling? Uh -huh. It says, but mighty through the most high to the pulling down of strongholds. Uh -huh. Casting down imagination. There you go, casting down imagination. That's a stronghold. And all the imaginations are what? When you imagine something, those go, don't, don't go back to your thoughts. And basically, the thoughts of the flesh is what? All wickedness. Lust and heavy, doing this, doing that. All things that are, 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 are wrong. So, really, the battle starts where in your mind, right? To, 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 to achieve our uh, perfection by obeying the laws of the Holy Father. That's where the battle begins. And then it goes and manifests into your life, you know? Changing things in your life. <laughs> you don't change things in your life without, without thinking about it first. You know, without having a, having a strong spirit of discernment. To say, I'm not doing this no more. I'm, you know, when you pull down strongholds, that means basically repenting. You're saying, Oh, I'm acknowledging these laws, and I'm, 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 and, and these laws uh, uh, um, are helping me to achieve perfection. To, 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 to not obey, to understand what's right or wrong, and not, and not fulfill or to, um, you know, basically. Not a, I would say two days to get you destroyed. Yeah, well, I'm getting tired. So, tired. You know, which is basically not from the laws of the Lord. So it starts within yourself first, which yourself is manifested into the world that the mom they wrote. Because when you commit sin, who's doing it? it it's not your thoughts. It's your it begins there, but your body actually acts it out and performs it. If you commit adultery, whatever happens, right? If you murder, wrong for it. Right? It starts in the mind and then you go act on it. So the back the pulling down strongholds it starts, you gotta put three thousand imagination. Yeah, fight the same off. It says uh, casting down imagination and every high thing that exalts it itself against the knowledge of the hour and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of the house. That's right. See? Thought. See, that's where it begins, in your mind. Every thought in, to the obedience of Yahweh Shah. The only way you can obey the Lord is by controlling your mind first. That's what it's good to say. Uh, for the Timothys, the Lord did not give us one and two and seven or one and seven. The Lord did not give us the spirit of fear, but of love and of power and of a sound mind. The sound mind is being in sync and, 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 and obeying the laws of the Lord. To be, that's where you get the discipline from. See, that's where the word disciple means. Disciple comes from the word discipline. You're not the disciple of the Lord unless you're disciplined first. Discipline in the mind. That's where it begins, man. The pulling down the strongholds. Bringing every imagine, no, but imagination is gone, right? Yeah, to the obedience yeah. of the Lord. That was it, right? Oh, I got it. The book of Ephesians, chapter six, verse ten. So it ain't, it ain't the uh, what it say? And it, it's in, it's the sinner, or some shit like that. Yeah. It ain't the Most High don't hate the sinner; he hates the sin. Yeah, all right. That's bullshit. Okay. This is the book of Ephesians, chapter six, verse ten. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Verse eleven. Or put on the whole armor of the Most High, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Verse 12, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers, against the rulers of darkness of this world. Yeah, which is who? Esau the devil, all right? The so-called white man, the nation of Edom. He's the ruler, he's the, he's the ruler of the, how to say the prince of, the high place of the song. Um, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. Yeah, which principalities? Things that are so-called right, the principal things of life. When you go to school, you got a principal, because he's the head of that school to keep everything in order. When you have a principality, or basically the, the morality of uh, of this world, and we know that the world's not here, so the principality of the principalities of this world, and let's say this country, is what? Do as thy will. I believe in a miracle. Vote for this damn devil to rule over you, man. These are the principles 
like the principalities of what they think is right and is right. No morals. Come on, oh, homosexuality. Right? That's the principles of the right. Uh, um, my, uh, what's it called? Uh, minor affection. Uh, 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 love, whatever that's called, pedophilia. Minor affection. AIDS. That has to do like yeah, yeah. Minor, minor attraction or something like that is called. Another word for pedophilia. Uh, uh, transgenderism. We have to accept that and teach it to our kids. Now, so the brother, I think that, that demon, Governor Newsom, man, that guy's going to die. Someone's going to kill his ass. Uh, yeah, the, the, Cali, I just, the brother just posted a post. Now you can get your um, child taken away from you. Uh, something to the effect of uh, uh, they, Oh, the government can, can, can take custody from your child if something deal with trans, trans, transgender. You know? Something some to that effect. Some extreme, man. Some to the effects of. Uh, I gotta look at it again. Some gonna look it up, but uh, not um, look up Governor Newsom um, and, and, and custody. I know it's gonna cover custody and trans custody transgenderism in your child. I forget how to word it. It's, it's, it's just gonna. You can't even believe it. Basically, not if you're not teaching them about it, or some some crazy man. We're about to get their explanation, explanation. But you can uh, uh, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, yeah. evil spirits, yeah. against the rulers of the darkness. Who the rulers of darkness? Is what? None other than the nation of Edom, starting with the Rothschilds. Rockefellers, DuPonts, DuPerrys, the elite banking families and international families that are the Zionists, Illuminati, whatever you want to call them. These are the powers of darkness because they rule, they, they worship the dark. Right? They're Satan. They're witches and warlocks. Right? And they are the wicked. Everything you see around you has demonic vibrations on it. Whether and it's, it's all in the advertisement. You got cell phone towers. That have put out 5G technology and frequencies to control your emotions, to make you do bad things. A depression, a murder, aggravation, violence. That exists. Poisoning your food, poisoning in the water, spliced genes, a spliced seasons, etc. and etc. man. That's the Prince of Darkness. And etc. man. Okay. So, uh, it's called, it's a proposed bill, it's, it's called uh, a sanction, well, well, that would have a name. it's called a uh, state, it's called the Wieners, okay, that's funny, right, it's called Wieners SB 107, which would turn the state into a refuge for transgender children seeking gender affirming care. Wow. Right? So, so it says Senate Bill 107 by Senator Scott Wiener. Wow. Of San Francisco. It says it's designed to serve as a roadblock for civil and criminal legal actions from other states where such treatment is restricted. Blah blah blah. It says in other words, if I can just say real quick, if, if your kid, and, and they, they brainwash the kid, if the kid says, in a, in, if he does not possible, you're at work, and they say, who wants to be transgender? And they say, yeah, that, that's all they need to hear. Then they're going to take, they're going to take the kid, and the kid, and they're going to wait, wait, say it again. Do you want to, yeah, 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 you know, he don't know what that is, right? Not, not, only, you know? not only indoctrinate, but they'll, just they'll give them, they'll be able to perform, perform, Gender affirming reproductive surgery. They put a demons on these children. It says right here, it says, lawmakers have sent him a bill turning California into a sanctuary for children seeking gender affirming treatment. So that's hormones, surgery, it could be 
you know, some type of pills, whatever. Wow. And, and that's basically the so, principalities of, of this of this of this country. You know. And here it is. When I was in second grade, I was telling all this, you know, my other story, crack the back. When I was in second grade, I wanted to be a Ninja Turtle, man. If you would ask me what you want to be, I'm telling no joke. The Lord is my witness. I was I, I, I wanted to be a Ninja Turtle, Leonardo. You know the other one I wanted to be. Anyway, but anyway. Power. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I have a story about that. But yeah. All right. Just say the other guy right away got scared. Uh. But anyway, I wanted to be a Ninja Turtle, man. And if you would ask me at that time, what do you want? I, I'm telling you, God, the Lord is my witness. I want to be a Ninja Turtle. I want to be Leonardo, man. And I, I was obsessed with it. You know what I mean? So, but I was a kid, so you know, you can't. But I, I didn't look fuck. You know what I mean? Just like uh, remember when we were watching TV, if I if I'm a share, we didn't even know better. Remember we were watching TV, we loved Kung Fu films. We were sucked to Kung Fu films. One day, me, me and my brother were young, four or five or whatever, and we were watching something, Brucey or whatever. My dad was there, and my brother said, Man, I wish I was Chinese. <laughs> I, I want to be Chinese. And, you know, you can tell him, right? Oh, my dad. I swear I got on my dad. He said, Go on the roof. Yell at me. He's like, Go, go to your roof. <laughs> <laughs> I was spreading the board. Yeah, I was spreading the board. Yeah, yeah. Right. I think you basically said you wanted to be a hero. You know? right, yeah. right, right, right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. But see, my point is, you know, we didn't even know no better. You yeah. didn't want to be no. No. Yeah. But that's just, you know what I mean? Correction. The dad had to be there to correct you. Yeah. Now, now, this is now, and I went and told a, 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 somebody at the school that what happened, they would take, they would take me, they would take me away from my dad. They would take me out the household. See? Now, but it's basically by what we watch on TV, right? Exactly. We watch a lot of things growing up. We watch a lot of Ninja Turtles. So we was like, oh man, I was like, that's cool. What, is, what are these kids watch now? They're, they're forced to watch all this drugs on TV. On the transgenderism, you get all this attention. They accept it. Oh, I want that. Yeah, yeah. What do you expect kids to say? They don't know what the fuck is that. Exactly. Here it is. They don't, here it is. They don't know what they want for breakfast, but you you listen to them, they think they want to be another section. You just don't want to be yeah. So it's forcing his agenda That's right. Right. On, on, on our children. Well, remember, they have on these, on us. They have these transgender, transgender uh, uh, freaks them to the classroom. Yeah, Why do you have transgender story thing? So I'm going to you back to the You should have fun. You didn't have fun. Yeah, we do. So, oh, you do. So, that's it right there. Okay, follow me. It's a trap, man. You know, so that's the point to prove that, you know, we should use an example. These are the principalities of this world. And that's that's that's, that's, a, that's a proposal. This is what we're fighting against. Wait, wait. Back in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the, of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of the Most High, that you may be able... Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of the Most High, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. Right. The 
says, the name of the Lord is what the strong tower, the righteous run into it and are safe, man. Right? So that's showing you the power of the name Yahweh Shai. There's a lot of power with that name. With that name, you, you can, you're able to fight off those powers and, and, and principalities, like it says in Ephesians. Okay? So there's strength in that name. Also, by that name, you will receive what? Deliverance or salvation. So we're, we're living in a very, very wicked day, man. And a, a lot of people don't realize that yeah, we're that living. Was, yeah, right. we're living in a, in, a, in, a, in a high, the highest point of wickedness, man, oh, ever in the history of existence. And it's only going to get worse and worse and worse. Okay. He saw his spiritual power is, is, is the power of his tongue. It's the shit that he say, where he's a, he's actually manipulating the masses. To, to mutilate their children. It's, 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 it's crazy, man. It's fucking crazy. Child of it, he's, he's convincing. Think about it. That's, 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 that's amazing. He's, he's getting people to, to physically, to, to commit child abuse on their own children, man. He's convincing them to do that. Okay, yeah, you know, this seems right. It's that, crazy. Shows you that man needs to die. You know, that basic thing. Man on earth can be manipulated to do anything they want. Yeah. I mean, to the fact that they can put a mask on them. Mask on them. Don't get this double. Put a mask. You know, to put a mask on your face, the police that's going to save you. Only the devil can convince people to take a, a, a jump shot. You know what I mean? Because that's not in the realm of, of, of reality. Now, now it's just. Attack. Now it's coming out. A lot of stuff oh, yeah. are coming out about the Javi guy, oh, yeah, the, Jab, the, the Java juice, right? Even the coworker, he, he said something that was funny. Like a lot of shit is coming out about that Javi Jab. Oh, Moderna is doing Pfizer. Moderna is doing Copy uh, some infringement, yeah, copyright yeah. infringement. Now Pfizer, a lot of shit is coming out about Pfizer. A lot of data that was withheld from, from uh, cause Israel's like the, 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 the forerunners, they, they, they Jabby jab their their people um, like two three times the verge on the first one. Like they're way ahead of the game towards the jabby jab, right? A lot of data's coming out about the jabby jab, uh, how 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 bad it is, man. You see? How how they had a lot of adverse reactions to it. Yeah. That was linked to the jabby jab. Okay, so, yeah. uh, so this is your talk about the power of Satan. I should be doing something crazy, convincing their own their parents to commit right. uh, 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 abuse, physical, physical abuse, abuse. Physical abuse. their children, and only the devil can do that. Right. Right, so, uh, uh, and like you said, but the main point you said, there's people around here, they don't know. Right. They have no idea. A Revelation 11, verse 8, it says, and their dead bodies shall lie in the streets of that people, and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, but also our Lord Jesus. Right, it says, it says, their dead bodies shall lie, what does it say? And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of a great city. Of that great city, which that great city is America. America is that great city, and those dead bodies that represents the people, in particular the Israelites that have no knowledge of their heritage, man. Right? They have no wisdom. They're basically they're stupid, man. They're lost sheep. They're, 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 lost. They, they're lost sheep. Right? This and it said it's full. It said it's full. Yeah. It said uh, and as if oh. you don't know a, they put this at a great city, right? Which is which the great city of America, sometimes. But if that wasn't enough for you, they said which, which? spiritually. This which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. Right, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, man. Witnessing this being Sodom every day. They, they have, yeah, we're witnessing this place being Sodom every day. They, they, they done made it legal for uh, homosexuality, marriage in 50 states. We got, then we have a, a, a damn near, we have a damn uh, a Obelix from Egypt. I mean, what more proof do you need, need that this place is spiritually Sodom and Egypt? They, they actually created a sexual preference 
pedophilia, but they just packaged it in a, in a, in a, in a nice, nicer way. All right? It, this place is spiritually Sodom and Egypt. And it says where our Lord was crucified because the characteristics of the Lord is gone. The fear of the Lord is gone. The image of the Lord, how can I, how can I not mention that first? The image of the Lord is totally gone, man. Where you can, where you can, no matter, it, it, it says in the scriptures about the appearance of the Lord, yeah. but if you put a, the image that they portrayed as the Lord, if you show that to anybody, not only, I'm just touching on here in America, but all over the damn world, if you pose that, if you put that picture up in front of anybody, they'll say, Jesus Christ. Right? So, the, so our Lord was crucified most definitely here, here in that great city. And he was behind that. He saw himself, the devil. Yeah. He's the one who whitewashed and committed out of Kodak. He did that. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where who is he?